There we go. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back. Roll around here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be doing some build mule prep. Um, and for those that have no idea what I'm talking about, obviously you can make pretty much any build with any character. And since this one is already a new game plus, there are a ton of bosses that I haven't killed. And so we're going to be... The goal is going to be to basically just kill bosses... Uh, and get different checkpoints and hunt down some more upgrade mats so that uh, when it comes to actually making builds, I can, you know, just use this character and boom, bang out a build, test out a strength build, test out a dex build, all that stuff. Uh, so to do that, we obviously need to, to kill a bunch of bosses, get certain boss weapons, uh, a lot of those being story-related bosses, so, you know, food for thought. Um, I'm probably going to head down here and try to knock out Radon first because I did want to get his soul to try out his swords. So let's go ahead and do him. Um, there's a couple other. I mean, we're going to be knocking out basically like all the main bosses of the game in this. So, you know, obviously very, very uh, spoiler heavy stream. If you haven't played through this content, you might not want to watch. Oh, we're, we're still running the blood build. Blood build OP. Doesn't Rodan's sword need int? I don't know. We're gonna find out. I gotta get it first. Uh, millennia might happen. I need to get up to the snowy region and get the key, but I do need to re unlock her region. Ow. So I got Arcane. Do you think Arcane Strength build is possible? Um, I mean, the thing is, Arcane is a very specific build. And yeah, I guess you could grab a greatsword and slap bleed onto it. But the thing is, bleed is all about multiple hits on the target. And so it's not going to work all that well with strength. Like, I can show you a strength weapon with bleed, and you'll you'll understand. It's better to show, and, and, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. So, if I go here... Uh, if I look at my gear... So, Reduvia has 85 bleed on it. It's a dagger. This has 71 bleed on it. Uh... You know, so let's just say 70 is our baseline. If I was to use a big beefy sword, let's just pick a colossal. Let's use, uh, we'll pull out the great club and we'll pull out where my colossal's at. Let's do, um, great sword, the standard, it's great sword. And we go to ashes of war. Uh, you can see even if I do bleed, the blood loss is only going to be 101 on that. If I do it, I can't do it on the Great Hammer. But so 101 on a great sword compared to 85 on a dagger. And therein lies your problem. Like, could you do it? Yeah, sure, of course you could do it. Uh, but your damage really isn't going to be that high. You know, you're going to like, yeah, you're going to get bleeds, but it's going to take a while to build it up. So... Arcane strength is kind of a conflict. Well, the walkthroughs it's it's not coming out right now. It's gonna take it's gonna take days. Y'all gotta realize I'm already dropping five episodes of the Let's Play per day, so I can't do any more than one episode of the walkthrough per day, just because that's that's too much content. There is a point where you're putting out more content than your channel can sustain and it ends up just hurting your channel. So, you know, I know people are like, I, I want the walkthrough, but you I have to wait.
The festival is not I the festival. I heard there's like six endings, four different fractured, frenzy flame and stars. Uh, I don't know about four different fractured endings. I mean, technically, there's there's three endings. There are three endings you get trophies for, and the the default one, the Elden Lord ending, has small variations you can do. So there's like a version of it where it involves death, and there's a version of it where everybody's happy and stuff like that. But at the end, it's like the same ending. Like, it changes the color palette a little bit, and the dialogue is briefly different, but it's not like a whole new thing. This fight sucked ass in new game. Curious to see how fast I clap his cheeks in New Game Plus. Don's just like muscle memory for me at this point. I'm sure shit doesn't one-shot me anymore. Hey, there's other guys you can fight. You should try and fight them. I feel bad for his horse. Start bleeding you. So fucking good. Oh my god. Murdering the shit out of him felt delightful. Oh. Oh. Y'all gotta understand, I spent two hours fighting that dude. What's going on with the. Why is there like so much green screen fuzz on stuff? Lots of green fuzz today. Let me try and clean that up a little. Uh, webcam and the filters and the chroma. Chroma key, select, fix screen, there. Okay. There we go. That looks a lot cleaner. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, fuck that guy, dude. Uh, he did. How do I beat the Draconic Tree Sentinel? Have you tried to get good? <laughs> the glory of the and then a fall. I can't fathom. He was a living. Have you tried to get good? Getting good is usually the uh, the default way to beat something you're struggling with. On to another late game boss. Lots of spoilers. Lots of spoilers.
Got any tips for beating her Don? I mean, yeah, bro. Just use the giant dragon head and murder it. It's easy, man. You're telling me you don't have a legendary dragon head to kill him with? I thought everybody did. I also used to vape, and then I started again. Because there's only so many times you can tell people questions. Why can't I not cast? Oh, this is a problem. My uh, L1 doesn't want to work. My L2 works just fine, though. Time for bleeds. Oh, you done fucked up. This guy not have blood. Now my L1 is working. Hang on, let me try alt tabbing out and then tabbing back in. Oh, that's a fun bug. Why is it doing this? Uh, hang on, let me try to... Let me try turning off the controller and turning it on. Buttons are working now, that's good. This or Neo, which do you prefer? They're two vastly different games. I don't think it's really fair to make a comparison. Like, I like them both, but I like them for different reasons. What's your favorite boss? Dragon Lord. Oh, the bells come out. It's too late. More guys. No, you broke a bitch. I hate when when the first encounters do that. Like, he's gonna get his ass just molested in like half a second. My summon was fucking him up. Yeah, everybody smash that like button. Smash it. No, but so the first time you encounter him, he starts the fight like fucking on top of you as you saw. And this time he starts like way over there. She said her love for me was as existent as Cowboy's Grape Lady. I mean, that means that she has a deep love that will take time to mature, so yeah, bro. You done fucked up, Morgot. Nice spear, nerd. Now, stop it. You're being kind of a bitch right now. Rot. Wow. 
Wow. Massive. Oh, shit. You got knocked me out of it. Swarm of flies. Bleed and he dies. Swarm of flies. More god will die. Swarm of flies. They go. Om nom nom nom. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Get jiggled on. Jiggle, 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 jiggle these nuts. Jiggle, 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 jiggle my nuts. Yeah, he got fucked up. What can you do, though? You can't possibly beat Bleed Man. I need to burn down the tree. Do, 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 do. Burn down the tree. What uh, do we do? Burn it all down. Burn, burn, burn. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it down. There's a sleeping giant at the church at the very, very top of the snorry area. How can you wake it? Have you tried hitting it? I wonder if Mog is resistant to bleed. Considering how fast he was deleted, I think the answer is no. How do you open this door? You're about to find out, buckaroo! Now Woo! The By the mantle of barbs, they're impenetrable the after the earth tree. You must pass the thorns. This is my purpose. I'm gonna light myself on fire. LOL, you only live once. Yeet, bro. Okay, dokie. I gotta go to... I'm trying to remember how the path I make my way over there. I don't remember this part. How do you beat Radon? You just blow him up, bro. Blow him up. You just gotta go boom. Big damage. Wabba! Oh man, look at their blood. Their blood is golden. Lots of bubbles. Bubble, bubble, bubble time. Lots of bubbles. Bubble, bubbles are to find. I need to get down. I need to get over there. I don't believe how. I think I found the flare. Actually, I think I remember now. Yeah, man. All you gotta do to beat Radon is just get lucky with the patterns, bro. That's all. Woo! Woo! Frame drops, my favorite. Dun 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 boing! Dun 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 Yahoo! Dun 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 Woohoo! Do 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 Yaha! Do 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 Woo! Yahoo! Woohoo! Yeah! Look at these idiots hitting hitting sand. Look at it, guys, right there. It's where you find one of the best talismans in the game, but the city's gotta be covered in ash first. That twin blade the best for bleed builds? I mean obviously, bro. I came up with it. No other weapons work for bleed builds, only my twin blade. They call me the Meta Man. Because I decide the meta. All that rooftop jumping made me think of Dying Light 2, except one of these games is good, lol! How long will it take you to beat Elden Ring for the first time? Mm, like 85 hours, I think? Thoughts on Blasphemous Blade? That's my waifu. Blasphemous Blade is sexy as fuck. Please don't hit me. Mr. Knight, let me introduce you to flies. That was very rude. My turn. Fly party. I said get the fuck away from me! 
Sometimes you just gotta hit him with it. What is a build mule? A build mule is going to be a character like this one that currently has 2 million souls and he's gonna have all the upgrade mats to max out like four different weapons and he's gonna have plenty of respec things ready to go and he's gonna be at 150 and I'm gonna use him to make a bunch of builds because people want to know how to build your builds so we're gonna build the builds What's a guts sword? Is that is that like a sword you use to see the guts of your enemies? Hey cowboy, did you find Grape Lady 4? They posted on the wiki. Yes, they posted on the wiki after I found it. Though that is probably a big surprise. Who would have thought that I discover stuff and then the wiki gets populated with details? Amazing. Guts sword is a great sword. Tell me more. Oh, it's a berserk sword. What is berserk? Is that like a show about eating? Like, do people just go berserk because their breakfast is late? And they're like, pancakes! And then they just start attacking the waiter? Oh, no, I almost fell off there. It's an anime. What's anime? I've never heard of this thing. It sounds cool. Should I watch it? The only anime I've seen is this thing called Avatar. The Last Airbender. I've heard it's a very good anime. Got time for your ass, get out of here. Thoughts about patching in an auto or double tap run? I mean, it's not needed. Drag on ball? Is that like, that sounds like a sex show. Like you're dragging your balls on something. I don't watch stuff like that. I only watch wholesome shows. Like, you ever heard, of, there's this cool show called Bible Black, and it's this really wholesome show about Bibles and the darkness that awaits you in the world and overcoming that darkness to find a higher power you can believe in. You should watch Bible Black. That is a wholesome, Good anime. Hentai? No, it's a show about Bibles! Y'all are perverted. What build am I running with? A cool one. Into the snowy region. Around we go. Running around. Down on the ground. Killing all the things as we go. We're in the giant's lands. And we got the giant's plans. And we're running around. Exploring the world. Doing the giant thing. We're running the Great Wall. We need to go north to rescue Jon Snow right now. Uh, he's trying to lead the wildlings 
against the Night King, and, and we're gonna go kill the Night King right now. I mean, y'all have seen Game of Thrones, right? This is clearly the wall. Jon Snow's right over there, I promise. See, this guy, he is a Jon Snow hater. That's why he's shooting arrows at me. But I'm too fast. You can't stop me. Did you notice a difference between this chat and your time from Twitch? Uh, yeah. There's more people in this chat. How do I access the snow area? You just run here, bro. We just did it. You gotta pay attention. Dismounter a good weapon for Qual? I don't have Dismounter, so I can't even tell you. This isn't me being sarcastic, I just never found it. I've heard a couple people talking about that. I don't even know what the fuck it is. I also never got the Eleanor pull blade, so I can't comment on that either. What is this Skyrim mod? It's called Skyrim Souls. And it's like Dark Souls, but it's in Skyrim. Except bow builds aren't as OP. An armor similar to Habez. Yeah, probably. I don't remember where, but I'm sure there is. We gotta go up to Castle Soul. Fighting bad guys, it's what I do. Getting the medallion, then I'm coming for you. Castle Soul. Before that, though, we need Farrah Missoula to get the somber ring, ancient dragonstone. That's where I'm gonna go. Farrah Missoula. What level do you think the community will stick to for PvP? I'm at 125 and worry to level more about matchmaking, but Endgame is still rather brutal. Well, KP Music, if you're still getting your shit pushed in at 125 just trying to beat the game, that, in my opinion, is a pretty clear indicator that the meta is gonna have to be a higher level. Because I went up to 150 before I felt comfortable enough to spank everything in the endgame. Now, obviously, the PvP meta doesn't have to correlate to the PvE meta, but at the same time, players need to be able to get through all of the PvE content in a game to even consider making their PvP build, unless they're doing like a twink or something. Therefore, ow, I think the meta is going to be higher. Even though strictly from a stat perspective, 120 sounds like it would be right. Those extra 30 levels make a big difference in whether you are killing a boss or the boss is killing you. And if people can't beat the shit they need to beat, all of a sudden, the meta ain't looking too good. Ow. I've been playing so many games that the skin on my elbow peeled off. First Church of America. I heard some people are quitting the game due to it being too difficult. Actually, most people are quitting the game because my walkthrough is not done. All of those people are just taking a little breaky-wakey, and they will be back after I have finished the walkthrough. Covering the Euro quest line? There's not much to his quest line. He just, like, helps you and then he hunts some people and that's it. But yeah, I'm gonna try and cover all the NPC quests. I say try because there's so much shit in this game. There's probably gonna be something like, oh, well, instead of helping Yura, if you decided to spin three times and then throw a stone at his head, he would have gotten angry 
And then he summons up the ancient dragon god, Jukatsu. And then with Jukatsu, you take a spell from him and heal the dragon that's out in Kaelid. And then you fly happily ever after into the sunset. And that is going to be a super secret alternate ending. And I know it sounds like I'm being facetious, but that's probably what's going to happen. Which is why I said the walkthrough is going to aim for 100%, but I apologize if I miss stuff. Because there's so much obscure- like just the other day, bro, just when I was hunting down my platinum trophy, I found a whole fucking cave that I had never been in with a new boss that was literally a hidden wall on a cliff. You had to go to the cliffside and smack a hidden wall. And after doing that, boom! Here's a new cave for you to explore. You know how fucking obscure that is? Who does that? That shit is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you wanna... You wanna find... Yeah, just run around the world smacking walls to find caves. Like, that's fucking out there, dude. Is Milena's sword spam attack even dodgeable? Yeah, you get good. Did you already finish this game in a new game plus? No, it says new game plus and the title is a joke. Good evening from a hungry. Will you continue the mage walkthrough? I'll continue the mage prep. I would not consider that a walkthrough though. Big hand. Exactly, they could patch in whole fucking zones and we wouldn't even know about it. Hello doggies. Goodbye doggies. Ow, no, doggies? Bad doggy. This looks kind of... This looks a little sketch. fucking mark it. You figure out the snow riddle? Yes. I need a grace. Um, let's go this way. Give us the walkthroughs. Wait your turn. This is PC. If you're on PS, I have most souls duped up and a lot of legendaries. Uh, this is PC. I'm sorry. Your duping souls does not matter to me. Who's the Elden Ring? I am the Elden Ring. It's like he's playing peekaboo over there. Look at him. He's like, I can't see you. But you're about to. Time for a bleed. Time, time for a bleed. It's time to bleed. Giving you the bleed. Time 
horribly. It's time for it up. I have spells for you. Enjoy. And do sex coming out. He's going all Ninja Turtle on us. Ooh, shit. That hurt. Oh, that hurt a lot, too. New game plus giant ain't fucking around, I see. Unfortunately for you, I have reached your foot, and now you'll die. Running for his life because he's a bitch. Ow. No, you fucking. Oh my god. Kill him. Finish him. Finish him, Mimic. There we go. He's dead. Little bitch giant. And that, boys and girls, is why you don't ride your horse in the boss fights. Is this a profit build? No, this is a cowboy build. How do you feel about variation of bosses? Oh, bro, what? Did it not count? He died! Oh my god, game. Did we really just get fucking robbed by this gooch? For those confused, the gooch is that little flappy part of skin between your asshole and your balls. That's what this guy is. He is a gooch. A big, ugly gooch. Well, I don't need... No, I do need to kill him, because this is how I get to Furumazula. But there's other stuff I want. Maybe I shouldn't kill him yet. But there's a thing in Furumazula. Let me see something. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to get some stuff. 
I need sombering ancient dragon smithing. Uh, Faramazula. I know I get one for the beast quest. Venus quest, I get one. One, two. All right, I can get two of them. Let me go do this. This will be an easier way to get them. Um, what's the closest route? Probably here. I mean, this boss one-shot me because my guy doesn't have a lot of armor. And see, my damage negation is not very high. I could go to a thick boy set. No, stop, stop it. Oh my god. Damn it, lobster. Are you getting worn out of this game? Or is the passion still going? Well, we like to have a date night at least once a week. And then sometimes there's role play involved. So the passion's still pretty spicy if you catch my drift. Right now we're role playing as a blood mage. It uses blood. I didn't get the other half of the fucking talisman yet. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, look, that's the crab. My game crashed in the forge cutscene. I can't get into crumbling. Have you tried doing the forge cutscene again? A build mule carries my builds. It's like a mule that carries all my builds. The prayer room of the Hallow Tree is the best souls farm that I know. Any better spots? Uh, there's this really good spot just called playing the game. There's a reason that I have 2.1 million souls. Please no, dear me. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then. Well, oh, I we're finished. The curse mongers have destroyed every beggar. You must keep it. If you should need them, please give it. Bop, 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 ba -dee -ba -da -ba -ba. How do you not lose runes when you die? Magic. It's this magic thing called a flask of wondrous physic. Well, if she can't talk to you again, then you're just gonna hunt to find a different way to burn the tree, my dude. Like becoming the Lord of Darkness, aka Lord of Frenzy, and burning that shit yourself. How do I find the Swarm of Flies spell? I can't find any good walkthroughs on it. Well, you're in luck because I'm about to show you where the hell you go to get it. Because there's other things that I want in that area. Please don't death blast. Please don't death blast. No death blasts. Why do you answer all the questions of your fans? So, 
facetiously. Well, typically it's because these questions have already been answered multiple times on the channel. Uh, the other part is a lot of these questions are just very basic questions. Ultimately, what it comes down to is I just don't like repeating answers. And so, rather than repeat answers, sarcasm is the answer. I don't want to fight you, Deathbird. Go away. Fuck, this isn't where I wanted to go. Oh, this will work. I mean, but for real, a lot of it is the game's just come out. A lot of these people just aren't, like... I, I would guess that out of the 1,300 people in this stream, there might, and this is a big fucking might, be 50 that are where they need to be to get the type of shit that I'm using. And people are still like, hey, where do I get that spell? And ultimately, the answer is just play the game. The answer is, is play the game. The game just came out. If you just play through it, you'll find stuff. But people don't want to hear that. People want to know, they want to rush their dragon spells. They want to rush their fly spells, and you can't. So I can either just say, you can't get it yet, it's endgame, a thousand times. Or I can be sarcastic. Now, which of those sounds more fun to you? Because I'm a big fan of sarcasm. People are like, oh, how do I get, how do I get to that, that level and how do I get all those souls? You want to know how? Have 120 hours on one save. That's how. You get 120 hours on one save, you will have all of the crazy shit I have. But nobody has that time yet. Nobody, nobody, like the people are like fucking 30 hours in. They're like, why don't I have super mega, you know, dragon explosion? Well, you're not even at the game zone where you can find that dragon. You're not even remotely close. And then the other half is I have the guides showing this stuff. They're like, where's the dragon? There's literally a video on my channel right now titled Missable Bosses in Elden Ring. And it covers how to find all of the missable bosses, including the Dragon Lord, to get the Dragon Lord spell. But people don't want that. People, they, they, they just want me to tell them the Dragon Lord's here. But then that's not enough. Then they want me to show them the route to the Dragon Lord. And because people want all these questions answered, I make videos that answer those questions. And so, see the problem here is I'm making the videos to answer these questions. And then instead of watching the videos to get their answers, people still just want the answers spoon-fed to them. And so, there, there's two approaches here. I could either be like every other streamer that has a thousand people watching and just ignore chat for everything except for maybe three comments. Or I can just keep telling people, go watch the videos. Like... Because that's, that's honestly, that's the solution to everything. It's just go watch the videos. I'm not gonna, you know, there's only so many times I can answer the same question over and over and over again. There's a question, how late into the game do I get the mixed physic? You can literally find it like 30 minutes after starting the game. It's one of the very first things you can get. Is this a boss fight or not? I don't remember. That's oh, just the shotel.
Ah, oh, shit. I was trying to get the fucking thing on. Like, a lot of questions we could answer just people watching. I mean, every time I spawn, I drink that physic. And then somehow, I never lose souls when I die. You know, someone paying attention might be like, huh. He always drinks that magical potion. I wonder what that does. That time I didn't drink the magical potion, and I dropped my souls. Commander Neil Niall Thornbury. Mr. Mega Frostbite. What about mid early game builds? The builds you put out are end game builds in some of the Sunk area and struggle to create builds early on, not hating just an idea. And that's that's a good idea, but I have no interest in that. That's not that's not what I do. It's not what I've ever done. Um I don't think there is, I don't think early game builds are a thing. Early game you play with what you find. You you test out spells, you test out weapons. <clears throat> you find something that works and you use it and then when you reach your late game that's when you have all of your cool crazy stuff but there you know the whole the idea of a late it's the same so I guess a good way to put it is I think about it uh, like Neo you know people in Neo always wanted that's bullshit it was my shield uh, people in Neo always wanted you know how do I how do I do this build at an early level, and the, thing, the answer was always, you don't. You don't do that build at an early level because it's a late game build. That's just, that's just what it is. And on top of that, when it comes to a... When it comes to early on, I can't do all this cool shit that I want to do. That's what I want to do, is I want to do the crazy cool shit. I can't do that early on in the game. And so that doesn't appeal to me. I don't want to make builds, you know, it's like... To me, I think of it like, it's like, why would I, why would I make builds showcasing fucking minor league JV softball when I could be showing major league baseball? That's the difference to me. I don't want to talk about the early stuff because ultimately it's irrelevant. It's, it's useful to know that stuff for a very first playthrough and then you're gonna quickly level and none of it's gonna be relevant anymore. And yeah, you know, some people aren't going to be as good at leveling as others, but the more I get the walkthrough done, the more people can follow that and then just get their levels. So I could either get a couple end game builds out so people know what they should work towards and focus on the walkthrough to guide people, or I could spend all my time making level 60 builds that literally are useless after a certain point of the game. Oh, you fucking bitch. Can everyone explain how this overrated game got 10 out of 10 by everyone? How much from software pay y'all? This game got 10 out of 10 because it's a fucking masterpiece and it's probably the best game that's come out in the last 10 years. The reason that you don't agree with reviews and you don't think it's a 10 out of 10 is because you've done nothing but play games your entire life that have spoon-fed you 
And the whole idea of having to commit to your attacks and actually pay attention to your doing is a concept that's lost on you. So instead of trying to learn from your mistakes and become a better player by watching what the enemy is doing, you instead get upset and then you blame the game. You're, all, you're probably the type of person that also likes to speed and then when you get pulled over you blame the cop instead of the fact that you were going 85 and a 45. Where did he come from? I thought I killed the knights. I think it's because I usually follow your walkthrough, but this game I'm trying to do it on my own. It feels like I'm doing it wrong. See, that's the thing though, is there's a couple thoughts on that. One, you will never get back your first playthrough of a game. You'll never get it back. If you follow my walkthrough for your first time through this game, the magic of that is gone forever. A good way to think about it is, is think about the first time you ever had sex. You had no fucking clue what you were doing, but you probably were still like, this is fucking cool. Now, would that experience have been the same if the first time you were having sex Somebody was sitting right there over your shoulder like, Yeah, bro, move your dick like that. Fuck no, it wouldn't. It would have been fucking weird, and you would have been like, Uh, can you stop? And that's... That's what, when people are like, I need to walk through now, and I'm like, no. That's why. Because you're never getting that fucking experience back, dude. Once, once you have watched the walkthrough, once you have been guided, and you know everything, that's it. Your first experience is gone. You're not getting another first experience. And I get it that some people have a limited time, and you know, they, they need to use their time and do as much as possible, but holy shit, you instant killed me right there. Uh, but I still don't think that's a good reason. You know, you're, you will never get back your first playthrough. You will never get back that feeling of discovering a boss for the first time that you didn't know was there. You'll never get back that feeling of finding that crazy sword that you were like, yo, this sword's so fucking cool, oh my god. You know, and you find it and you're like, this sword is amazing, I love it. And it changes the game for you. That'll never happen. And so that's why you should just enjoy yourself the first time around. Enjoy every second of it. And don't worry if you make mistakes. I made tons of fucking mistakes. The Let's Play is 120 episodes. I, I made tons and tons of fuck-ups and tons of shit that I did wrong and bosses that I, I had missed. There were whole fucking zones that I basically missed. And later... You know, I would go back and I'd get stuff, and that's part of the beauty of an open world game. Is you can always, you can always just go back and do something you missed. You're not going to be locked out of a, a boss that you find in the world, because that's not how this game works.
You need to fucking stop running. Holy shit. We might do Pharaoh's while well, I'm debating. Nope. Oh god, we survived. No, nope. stop that. Died to flies. Get fucked. I hate the game because it doesn't bring anything new to the Souls series. That is a fucking bold faced lie, guy. Literally. Are you kidding me? Are you are you serious that this game doesn't bring anything new to the Souls series? Uh let's talk about fucking Ashes of War being able to completely customize the weapon art on anything that is a non-unique weapon. Uh the fact that scaling is automatically built into that so you don't have to worry about searching for a particular scaling thing anymore. It's just it's just part of it. It's how it fucking works now. This is there's too much green. Let me put this at like 70. Put this at 50. Uh the fact that it's fucking open world. Literally a massive open world with tons of things to do and explore. We have built-in fast travel from anywhere you're at. You don't have to fast travel from a bonfire anymore. We have a dedicated jump button, so you don't have to do that weird sprint and jump thing. We have the ability to craft items, so you can craft up all kinds of shit. Throwing bombs, you can craft up the, uh, the little stones you leave on the ground, you can craft up arrows, you can craft up things to coat on your weapon. Huge variety in bosses, including both main bosses and side bosses. Like, there is tons and tons and tons and tons of fucking content that they have added to this game. And even then, none of that's even none of that's even touching on uh, none of that's even touching on the fact that we by far have the best weapon and spell variety we've ever had in any Souls game. So even if you look at this and you go, oh, it's just big souls. It's just, you know, it's Dark Souls 4, it's Dark Souls, but it's open world. It's still an improvement in almost every way over its predecessors, just because of the sheer addition of things we have. Cool ass new unique weapons, new weapon arts, new spells. Simplified scaling. It's just stuff, 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 stuff. There's so much shit. The game has sections that make you bored? No, it fucking doesn't. If the game had sections that made you bored, I wouldn't be over 150 hours. There's little... Yeah, there's an invisible horse. What other Souls games give you an invisible horse? There's so much shit to do and explore. Playing through this game is like playing through all of Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 and their accompanying DLCs. Like, massive increase in verticality.
Ooh, that was a little sketchy. Ashen summons, which are cool as fuck. What other Souls game lets me summon up a fucking clone of myself to fight stuff with? Oh, the dude's using the same dragon spells that I am. We're double dragons. You know how fucking cool that is? We went double fucking dragons. They're gonna nerf the Mimic's health? Doubtful. Other summons are just as strong. The Mimic isn't the only thing that can obliterate. Let's put on uh, Maiden and Puppets. <clears throat> I'll show you all them. They're not even a legendary. The secret medallion. What do you want, Jack? Right? When was the last time you paid 60 bucks for a game and got over 150 hours of content? Invisible horse, invisible horse. Ass, 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 ass. Dying Light 2 is garbage. I 
Everyone keeps asking about Theodorix. This is where he's at. You go to the hidden path of the Halleck tree. And then you go just southeast of the minor Erd tree. The easiest thing you do is you get down to the frozen river, which we're on. And then you just follow the river. Just follow the river. And you go, oh wow, crystal cavern. I bet there's something cool. And then Greater Worm Theodorix decides he's gonna spread your cheeks and make them dance. Why do you say Dying Light is trash? Uh, worse performance than this, which is saying something. Uh, Terrible NPCs you don't give a shit about. Boring quests. One-dimensional combat. A world that's just genuinely uninteresting. Like, we, I tried multiple times to, to play Dying Light, and the only time I had fun was playing with friends. And that was mostly us just dicking around and making fun of the game. not going to make a guide for the Raging Wolf Farmer. It's a long quest line and it's basically unmissable as long as you're not murder porning on NPCs. There should be a rest spot here in Ardina. I can find the fucker. There it is. Is that it? Where's that? It it's right around here. Damn archers. You get Dung Eater's armor. If you complete his whole quest chain, you get it. At the moment, Elden crashes at random intervals. I haven't had crashes. I've had performance issues. Crashes, though, have not been a thing. Oh, I don't like that thing. It's already attacking. Go away. Damn, I think I fucked up this quest chain. Mm. I don't know if I can complete it. Fuck! I had to bring her here. Yeah, no, I never talked to her. Well, that fucked up. No free uh, level upgrade mat there. Big suck. talk about the four possible endings, I'd rather not spoil that right now. That's not what this stream is about. Nothing comes close to the hours I've invested in World of Warcraft. I mean, MMOs don't count. Because the initial question I posed was, 
When was the last time there was this much to do in a $60 game? And World of Warcraft is not a $60 game. It's like $60 for the base game, and then $40 for every DLC, and then $15 a month on top of that. Go back and talk to her? We can try. She wasn't there when I looked a second ago. about to be invaded. I think we're about to be invaded. I don't know. Oh, just Sanguine Noble. This nerd. Where are you at, Sanguini? Sanguini Linguini. Where's this nerd? This is the best build for PvP at the moment. Lord of Blood! Lord of Blood! I haven't played a From Software game yet. I think it's okay to start with Elden Ring, sure. Favorite TV show of all time. Uh, I don't know. I don't watch TV. There you go. I answered the paid questions. Great Bleedy Quest rewards you with a frenzy seal. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. All right. This is where you get swarm of flies. Now, if I remember, a uh, statue, mostly midpoint. I think I know where to go. Jack, not right now. No. What does Sempuku do? It gives me a massive fucking bleed buff. Way stronger than other things that bleed. Swarm of Flies is down here somewhere, though. I don't remember exactly where. I think it's in the middle of this lake, but it's hard to say. It might be this. This might be the map. That's a hero's rune. Stop it. Holy shit, dude. These guys are fucking crazy. Do you think Millennia should be nerfed a bit? No. It's not impossible to defeat her without Mimic. Dude, most of the people playing this game are super underleveled. Blood tax, that's new. Sombering nine. Oh no, please don't. That's a whole new spell. We're gonna find we're gonna find the flies. Ah no, get away! Oh fuck! Oh my god! Blood flies are down here somewhere. We just gotta find it without being murderized by these guys. There you go, swarm of flies, found it. Swarm of flies in the cave, I got it. These guys suck, so we're gonna run past them really fucking fast. 
No death rays. No death rays. No death rays. I'm almost there. We're almost home free. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're safe. Okay. Damn. Um, where's my somber ancient? Uh, massive statue midpoint. I don't know how well I'm gonna get through this area. These guys are blood, and I am also blood. It's a weird matchup. My buddy wants to start with Elden Ring. I told him to follow the walkthrough. No, don't tell him to follow the walkthrough. Tell him to try and play the game on his own. You should never follow a walkthrough for your first experience. Do I need to bring up the sex analogy again? No, we're gonna expand. We're gonna expand the sex analogy. Let's take it... Let me say it another way, alright? So... It's your first time having sex. Things go fucking terrible. You have no idea what you're doing. Everyone's unhappy. Now... Which of these two scenarios that I'm going to present to you would you rather have happen? Scenario A, where after the fact you're talking with your buddy and you're like, Yeah, man, that was, that was kind of fucking rough. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, well, did you try this? You know, did you try talking to each other? Did you try talking about what both of you like? You're like, well, no, maybe we, maybe we could. He's like, yeah, you know, go just, you know, it's all about paying attention and communicating. And then you go and you try again, and you figure it out. Or, would you rather, once again, your buddy's standing over your shoulder, and he's describing exactly what you gotta do the whole time you're fucking. Because, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I think I'd rather figure it out on my own. I mean, yeah, maybe maybe a fucking hint if I'm, if I'm struggling, but I don't want somebody... That, that's gonna hold my hand for the entire experience. Not for my first time. Now, after the fact, you know, when you're like, no, that's not different. It's the same fucking thing, bro. It's the same thing. It's your first experience. You don't get that first experience back. Because after your buddies told you what to do, then every time you're fucking, you're gonna be listening to your you're, you're gonna be in the back of your head. Oh, well, you know, Jonathan said that I should spank the ass. You're not gonna be able to focus on you just enjoying it and you having a new experience. You're gonna be like, I was told I gotta do this, I'm gonna do that. That's never the same. Never the same. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Is this it? Excuse me, boys. I'm just trying to pop open a chest and... Fuck yeah, let's go rolling out of here. Should I try and kill Lord of Blood? I don't think this is going to go very well, but I'm here. I got to pick up his other spell, whatever it is, or his weapon or something. Oh shit. Damn. My dude got me. It's fucking go time! Rawr! Die, peons! Everything will die! Rawr! 
I'll never get tired of that spell. Fuck, no, 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 no. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard was Fire Giant? Uh, I get 8, 7 or 8. I'm not going to follow your walkthrough. Good. Good. Come back when you get stuck. That's when you should follow a walkthrough. Go experience everything blind. This is y'all about to see some real fucked up shit. Actually, I'm not going to spoil it. Y'all can see that fucked up shit on your own later. What's up, you big bitch? Mock, 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 mock. Blow it up, blood. Blow it up, blood. Mock. Ow. Lightning! Can I bleed you? That's the real question here. Ow! That, that, that goes really far. I don't know how to stop this. I still don't know how to stop that fucking ability. Leads. What would you say the third main area of the game is? The third area of the game would be Caleb. So this is what you should do. You should do Lem. You should start here. Do this stuff. Do this stuff. Do this stuff. That's called Limgrave. Then you should go here to Liernia. You want to do the bottom half of Liernia. Okay, don't go up here. Don't do... Well, you can you can do this stuff. You can do this stuff. But this stuff, don't, don't do that stuff. Don't do that stuff. Then you're going to go out here. And you're going to do this stuff. And by this stuff, I'm talking about going here, doing the swamp, all that. Then after that, you're going to go back here. Then you're going to do this stuff. Then you're going to go back here. And maybe explore this stuff a little bit. Right? Maybe go through all that. And then, I'm going to go up here. Now, I think you should do the volcano stuff first. Get the volcano stuff done. Then you do all of this stuff. Then you go into the city. And you do that stuff. And then you go up here. And you do this stuff. And then you can do this stuff, and then you can do this stuff out here. And that's- that's it. It's all you gotta do. It's just, you know, do the stuff. Dragon the breath Uh, ladies, you wanna fucking help me fight here, maybe? Can the Lord of Blood bleed? We're about to find out. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, he also hits really hard. I want your thingy. Ow, you fucking hurt, bro. Ow, oh my god, you hurt so bad. I don't know what to do about this. It just, like, ticks down, and I think it bleeds you. I don't think I can get away from it. How do I avoid that? This is actually good, because for the walkthrough prep, I need to know how to stop that fucking attack. Because I don't know how to stop that attack. I mean, you can heal through it, yes, and that's how I beat him. 
but it seems weird to me that there is an ability that goes on you and the only way to stop it is to heal through it. The yellow finger samurai guy gives you a charm to negate that. The yellow finger samurai guy, I have no fucking clue who you're talking about. Yura? Find crystal tear, you can pick it up at the second church of America in the Atlas Plateau. A crystal tear doesn't make sense. That's it, shouldn't you shouldn't need a physic item to stop that. There's got to be something else you use. through that. I'll get away from that. Oh, damn. It has to be the physic as part of the fight. No, I'm telling you, it's not the physic. I have the physic. The physic, it doesn't make sense that you would need a physic. It's got to be the key item. And I don't know if the Mog Shackle will, will the Mog Shackle work on him? Because this is a different Mog. We can try it. Check the purifying crystals here, it says in the description. I will look at this. I have it, I'm pretty sure. Where is it? Purifying crystal tier. Don't have it. Where where is this magical tier from? That, it sounds like it should be a key item, not a crystal tier. That doesn't make sense. Second Church of America. I don't even remember where the fuck that is. Second Church of America. I've been. That's the Erd Tree Church. Stormcaller. Oh, stop that. I mean, I have that place marked. <coughs> I have it marked, so I should have it. I feel, see, I think it should be a key item, like, for example, I have, like this. Uh, fucks it up. Thought it's a key item. Where's it at? Where's the fucker? Well, I just was looking at it, and now I'm not seeing it. Hang on. God damn it. 
Hang on, let me... Let me run over to this church real fast. They make a PC patch performance? I don't know, man. You tell me while I'm running around with a fucking invisible horse. Does this look like it's been patched to you? Oh great, it, the fucking instant kill dogs. Whoa, lady, calm the fuck down. Calm down! I don't think I ever killed this lady. Okay, my turn. I also have a twin blade. Suck my balls, bitch. Purifying Crystal Tear and Eleanor's Pole Blade. What is that? Blood Blade Dance. Leap at foe. Perform a flurry of tornado-like attacks. That's pretty cool. You thought you could mess with a god? That weapon might not even be good yet, y'all. We gotta see. We gotta test it. Meta should be above 180? Fuck no. Meta should not be above 180. How many upgrade mats do I got? Upgrade this and test. Back on matter. So it'll go up to seventy seven bleed in terms of stats. It's ugh, not as good. Four forty three compared to three thirty one. It also does split damage with fire. Uh, the question is whether it's special will kill stuff or not. Um, let's do some tests. You know that arcane weapons aren't scaling. You know that they are when you use occult scaling. Okay, let's test some weapons. This usually procs bleed in four hits or less. Let's see. Oh shit. Does that not fucking bleed? Why aren't you fucking bleeding? Just kill me, you're a terrible test target. I need a guy I can bleed. Um, 
let's see. Um, what would be good to test this on? Fuck, man, the giant here was a perfect test, and I killed him. The Adorix? Uh, maybe? I need to find a Grace close to him, though. Like, that's a long fucking run. I don't remember if there- I guess Cave of the Forlorn counts as a Grace if I go inside there. Oh, you know who I could test- well, no. Do the, do the Stone Giants bleed? They bleed, right? They bleed. That's right, took that away from me. I'm just gonna go try the dog. The dogs are my, my usual go-to test. So four hits to 2037. That was damage and bleed proc. And then I got a, a second bleed proc in less than that. Let's test on another dog for consistency. So that was three hits. One of those hits whiff. So I did 1818 18, bleeding three hits. I mean, these bleeds seem like they're fucking going off, dude. Material for the flask, it's somewhere in, uh,. Uh, somewhere in the northern region, that's all I, all I remember. The capital. It's in the capital area. You gotta fight an Erd tree. They all come from Erd trees. Go fight Erd trees. Alright, first we're gonna try just regular bleed. So four hits. We had around 1500. They definitely didn't feel as strong. You can't make the trees bleed. You're not good at blocking or parrying? I don't know how, dude. You just gotta hold the button to block. We did like 1,200 right there. I'm pretty sure our cult's doing that even without the bleed. Yeah, that's 10, 1043 without a bleed proc. A cult seems strictly better here. I think a cult just pulls from our scaling a lot more. <coughs> I 
But I haven't tried the weapon art, so let's try the weapon art. Maybe the weapon art makes a big difference. If the weapon art is like instant bleed multiple times, that could be good. That does deal some very significant stagger. The stagger on that... The damage is okay. The stagger, though, is very impressive. I can get a thing. Yeah, the scaling isn't... Well, this does scale... So the big thing is this scales more off a of deck. So is this is going to pull from Arcane more. Not getting the staggers, but that that feels stronger to me. But that stagger, though. Dagger is definitely worth Like it's weaker overall It's weaker overall, but the stagger makes it potentially worth it I don't know, man. I have really mixed feelings on it. I wish this thing... I wish it was capable of doing more. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. My, my decks... My dex isn't that high. It's only at 22. So I could see this being really good for dex builds, but with only a D scaling in arcane. It's hard to really use it on an arcane build. Let me see. If I were to upgrade this to plus 10, what would it do? No, 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 no. Oh. Just lay out you. You would go up to 176 by 176. What does this need? This needs Smithing Stone 8. I need to get Smithing Stone 8. Smithing Stone 8, Somber Ball Bearing. Um, <laughs> that's for room Azula. Five and six. So I have to go through for room Azula to get some shit, and then uh, 
I need more ancient sombering dragonsmithing stones. There's the Beastman quest, that takes... No, actually, his is just a regular, I think. So, Latena's quest line, I fucked up. I don't... Well, maybe I fucked up. We don't know if we fucked up. We might be able to continue it. Let's check. Let's see if she's over there, now that we've reached the area. So, I got her summon. Maybe I need to bring out her summon? The wolf is dead. Because I know I get one from there, and for the build mule, I'd like to have like four of these. Four would be nice. Let me try summoning her in Ordina first. Let me see. Let's see if there's... Of course the wiki has fucking no info on her. I'm thinking maybe if I just summon her, like even once... Maybe that will... will... do something? I think the problem is I never found her to promise and take, like I, you were supposed to talk to her and I didn't talk to her. So then the alternative is to kill the dragon. Uh, even if I kill, if I, or not the dragon, the giant, if I kill the giant, that's gonna get me access to one more stone. And then there's another stone. Let me see how many stones I've found. So, for stones, I have one. Uh, two. Three. Four. Fuck, bro. I think it is only four per playthrough. That sucks. No, wait, five. Because Dragon Communion needed it. There's five per playthrough. So there's the Lieutenant quest line. I thought it's the Beast Man quest line. But he might just be a regular one. Let's see. He he might be a uh, ancient dragon smithing stone. Details. Dragon Temple rooftop, that one, Mogwan Palace, one in the Halic Tree area. I know there's more, but there's no details about it. Everyone just has like, everyone's just, just posting the same exact shit over and over again, over and over again. And 
might have to go through like hundreds of episodes to find it. I feel like I need at least two. <clears throat> so Latena's out of the question. Well, I need to kill. So I need to kill the giant, and then I need to do. Uh, let me go back. Let me finish murdering Mogwin. Not that. For a second, I was like, "Fuck!" I grabbed nothing, and then I realized I just I, I have it. We're good. Bronk drops the regular. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It might be. It might be Ronnie's quest line that I get one. Actually, I'm almost positive it is. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I get one. I think the fifth is from... Hang on, let me see. So when I went up here, let me think about my rewards. We got... Shalona's Rise was a legendary spell. You were another legendary thing. Uh, you were a legendary thing. Stargazer Ruins... Stargazer Ruins might have been one? Stargirls don't drop the level 10 upgrade. We're talking about the final tier. This is like a, um... Thing, the thing we're talking about is like a slab, but for unique weapons. Should make a note on the blood video about the pole arm, just that it, the damage is going to be weaker. One from the skull southeast of the Church of Repost. No. You're talking about the one in the giant area? Hey, I'm not here to fight you, death bird. Go away. I feel like this gave me something good. I don't remember what though. Something good, I think. Ah, Primal Glintstone Blade. Alright, which one were you talking about? Church of Repost? Skull Southeast. Is that the giant one you gotta climb on? Sucks that I fucked myself out of getting the Latena one.
Not Okina san. Kina, go heal yourself. Extra rivers of blood. Now, boys, we've reached true power. Do 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 Super Mega Katana Man with two blood katanas, one in each hand. Let me go. I'm gonna go. Hang on. I'm gonna update the arcane video. I just wanna let people know about that weapon. Uh, what is this thing called? Um, uh, Eleanor's pole blade. Uh, Eleanor. Okay, updated. Uh, 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 uh. All right, you sit on top of the skull. Come here, big boy. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one I gotta blast my way up to. Up, up, and away! That's Troll's War, bro. That's, that's not what we need. But I do remember finding one around here. I hate that fucking fall so much. What is your favorite and least favorite? My favorite is how cool a lot of the new spells are. My least favorite is uh, the Burial Tree Watchdog. Fuck that guy. Give me my souls. Off. I know what you're talking about now. It's like, you gotta like... Do you need to like fall into its mouth or something? I remember.
This is like its eyes. You can climb into it. Fucking skull, bro. That's not sombering, that's regular. I swear these people. I don't need that. When do classes start becoming irrelevant? Uh, like level 40. Sombra went after beating the tree guardians at the Halley Tree Bridge. Yeah, but the Halley Tree Bridge is a huge fucking pain in the ass to reach. I mean, that's gonna be where we're going, but it doesn't make it any less of a pain in the dick to get there. Why do you get to summon two sons at once, and I only get to summon one son at once? You are a cheap little bitch. Two sombers and Halloween Tree? Well, looks like we're going back to fucking Halloween Tree. Fuck, you blow, bro. have the healing for this fight.
fucking hate Fire Giant, bro. This boss is such a bitch. You're not even an interesting fight. You just roll around and deal damage. Oh. My. God. That's the second time in a row that we've had him, like, basically dead. And he's won on some bullshit. Where are my runes at? Just jump it on your horse, they said. Yeah, that sure worked well. Where is my big fucking pile of runes?
Magma. Suck my dick. Time to burn the world. Burn, burn, burn. Time to burn the world. Burn, burn, burn. It's gonna burn up. Really hot. We're burning the world. At this spot, it's time to burn the world. Burn, 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 burn. We're gonna burn the world. Burn, 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 burn. observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Are you pro to commit? Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Yes, the tree always burns. What do you want, Giddy? <clears throat> Dragon land. This place has the dragon plan. <clears throat> There's my first grace. Fly, 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 fly. Thought you quit vaping and smoking. Well, I did, and then uh, started getting asked the same fucking question a thousand times every stream. You know, what can you do? Let's, so let me look at this, this flask that y'all were talking about. So why am I being pinged on Discord? Mm. 
Purifies Lord of Blood's curse. Oh, I'll be damned. Well, let's go murder him. Now that we can stop his bullshit. What's starting class? Just pick whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Starting classes are irrelevant for endgame builds. It doesn't matter if you're a mage or you seek the thrills. Any class can work. You just need to play the game. Any single class can work for endgame builds. Mog, Lord of being a bitch is more like it. Dragon breath. Suck on my rat. Ooh, it hurt. Ooh, a little late there. Just kidding, lol, fuck your curse. Nice healing, bro. That makes this fight really fucking easy. Give me great room. <clears throat> this isn't a faith fight. Okay. I have 81 yellow fingers, but it says unable to summon every time I'm online. I don't know what to tell you, bro. You've done what you I am a do as you know you. <laughs> You'd fall. Okay. Uh so that sucked. This is a fire braid. Flame dance. Okay, try it. I need that. I gotta duplicate hers. I gotta duplicate yours. <clears throat> Morgoth's Cursed Sword. We'll try that out. And oh, I'm definitely trying out your fucking magical trident on this build. Okay, I need to go get some mausoleums. Uh, there's one down here. Ugh, I have no graces, bro. They're all so far. They're all so far. Is this chat? Is this fight really that easy? No second phase? There was a second phase. You just didn't notice it because I did that much fucking damage. If you rewind, you'll notice that uh, when I started beating his ass, he actually <clears throat> grew wings and healed a fuckload. He was on the verge of death, and he healed back up to, like, 60% of his health. But I do so much damage, that it didn't fucking matter. He was still dead no matter what. Do you like flies?
I have no experience with gaming above 60 FPS. Uh, the 1440p options will provide a much fuller feature set at the same price points. I don't really want to spend a thousand dollars on a monitor. What? I mean, if you can't afford a thousand dollar monitor, just don't get one, bro. I mean, you're not getting 4K 120 hertz for 400 bucks on Amazon. That's also a... That's that's just inaccurate. Y'all are listing off monitors that are cheap as shit. Wasn't there a fucking tomb, like, here? Oh, that's over there. Guys, once again, the monitors he is talking about is not just a 4K. He's talking about the monitor I have. He's talking about a super high-end monitor. You cannot get them for $300, 400 the monitor he's talking about is like 4K, 144 hertz, HDMI 2.1. And yes, they cost about a thousand dollars. These aren't, <laughs> this, this isn't a monitor you even consider for a budget, like. Because if you're gonna run this, then you have to have either like a 3080 or a 3090. And you're gonna have to have a, a juicy fucking processor, like. If you're buying a thousand dollar monitor, you better have like a fucking four thousand dollar computer that can actually push those numbers. Otherwise, you're just an idiot. Dogs are going crazy upstairs, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Next part of the walkthrough will probably be like tomorrow or something. I don't know. I only wanted to do one a day, but people wouldn't stop asking, so I put part two out early. Hang on, I'm 
gonna have to go upstairs in a second. These fucking dogs are going nuts. Yeah, hang on. Fucking Amazon dropping off a package and the dogs are going insane. I didn't think somebody was breaking into the fucking house. It's just the guy leaving the air filters I bought. The problem is Paige's dog is old as fuck and he's like half blind and he's deaf. No, the meta isn't 200. Stop giving fake meta levels. But so the old blind dumb deaf dog, he sits there and he barks his fucking ass off. And then he starts barking so then the puppy thinks, oh, this is what we do. We bark when people come to the door. And it's like, no, dude, we do not do this. We don't, we don't fucking bark just because somebody walks up to the door. Like somebody starts fucking walking in the house. Yeah, you start barking. But the dog's like, somebody have the fucking door, the door, the door. Like, oh my God, bro. It's fucking dogs. Safe, and that's not a reaction I want from my dogs. Uh, if I was if I was worried about safety, it's one thing. I'm not. That is a bad reaction from my dogs. I don't want my dogs barking every time somebody comes to the door. I have a baby. If the baby's napping and the dogs wake the baby up because the Amazon's dropping off a package, that's not good. in the fucking boonies where hobo Jim's gonna wander up and try to eat my family like almost one million is it growing that fast no
Where we at? Nine hundred and fifteen. Eh, it's not. It's not almost a million. I mean, it's growing, but I hate that PC does this. <clears throat> almost a million is like when we're when we're at like nine hundred and ninety thousand subscribers. That's that's almost a million. Still got like a hundred k to go, man. The thing is, I mean, like, if you want your dog to bark, sure, I don't. I don't want my dog barking just because a package is being delivered. I get a ton of shit off Amazon. I have a baby that takes naps. I take naps. Bro, dog wakes me. If I'm in the middle of my fucking nap and I get woken up because the dog is going batshit fucking crazy over delivery, I get mad. I don't just get upset. I get fucking mad, dude. Because we get... Deliveries all the fucking time. There ain't no reason for this dog to be barking bloody fucking murder. Fuck, why doesn't this one have any skulls? Why don't you have skulls at all? Why do I make you come down? You can't enter them jumping on top of them. You wouldn't even make it on top, even if you get- even if you can jump. I've tried jumping on top of these things. They don't- they don't open on top of them. Bitch. Skulls are on top? There's no easy way to even get on top of this guy. Ass, 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 ass. Oh, you need more decks for me to test. You need more strength. You need more strength. What do you do? Fuck. Well, I could test you two handed. Looks like it causes blood flame, that's cool. Love the horse skin, how do I get it? It's a PC exclusive. Fuck, this thing's heavy. Ow, stop it, prick! I just need to open it. I need to duplicate Renala's thing so I have Full Moon and her staff to test stuff for a magic build. And then, uh, besides that, I guess there's Malaketh's thing, Millennia's Katana, Rikard's Sorcery. I don't remember what I get from Estelle, but we'll murder his ass too. Any more magic cowboy prep walkthrough streams? No, we're done. We're done with all the prep streams. We, we beat the first portion of the game and now we're gonna 100% the whole thing. 
All done. Dagger. Looks cool. It's heavy though. I mean like how how do I supposed to reply to that man? Like I literally I tweeted out today, like, hey, instead of prep streams, I think I might work on a mule build so that we can get more build videos done. And people are like, oh, I guess you're done with the prep streams. No. I just don't... I just don't like answering the same things over and over again. Bro, I don't even know who you are, and if you're blocked on Twitter, you did something fucking dumb, so... I don't know what- I don't know what you want me to tell you, okay? Do something dumb, you get blocked. Asshole, go. I don't even see him anymore. What the fuck? Weren't she like right there? Oh, he's up there. Never mind. Wrong spot. I might just go to those ones, because this one's being a little bitch. Let me work my way down. There's got to be a spirit spring somewhere around here so I can jump down. And I have to fight those fucking arrow guys. Oh, there's no, it's not question time. It's all I want. Is I, I want people to not treat me like their personal Google. That's all. Because there's a lot of really fucking basic questions. Like the other day, I, I had to explain to someone that if their weapon is in their left hand, they need to use L1 to swing it instead of R1. They're like, my, st my, my thing's broken, I can't cast. And I'm like, it's not broken, have you tried, you know... Fuck these guys. Oh my god, I hate them so much. I don't know what armor to use. Use whatever looks good. Read the item descriptions. Like, I'm 
I'm not trying to to be a dick, but it's like fuck, man. I'm out here trying to figure out like late game builds with like okay, what spells are going to go best and what am I going to get the max scaling on my staff out of? And then I got people coming in like, "Uh, how do I use the sword?" I I don't have time for that, man. I don't. There's only there's only so many like hyper simple questions like that I can ask. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure shit out. I'm trying to make the walkthrough. I'm trying to make the build videos. And then people are asking like Souls 101. Yeah, right. Like literally that shit that's what the wiki is for. You want to you want to learn learn your your basics about you know, how does what how does armor matter? the wiki site. You want to know about the blood scaling on Eleanor's pole bane versus the occult god healer that I have? Now see, that's a good question. Because then, then we're getting into the fucking details. We're looking at stuff that can be tested. Stuff that we can... Oh, that's the good shit. Why is it that some of these are fucking broke? I do not need the remembrance of the fucking fire giant. I think it's just some of them are only for endgame things, which is weird. That doesn't make any fucking sense, but there's another one right here we can get. that you could stop your arcane character at 120 what would be the most important stats to hit arcane and faith wear lighter armor or have less health or have less mana you on filing your taxes? Yeah, sure, bro. Just, the IRS already knows how much you owe, so just pay whatever you want, and then eventually they'll come and they'll tell you that, you know, they're missing money from you. There you go. Easy. Fuck, another shit one. This blows. Mausoleum compound sucks balls. Oh, those are useless. What about this guy? How do I jump onto that stupid fucking thing? Where's the- there's another marker somewhere that I left up. The mausoleums, they just let you dupe boss souls, but some of them are fucking weird and they don't work right. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like these mausoleums are only late game boss souls, but if they are, that's fucking stupid. Boss souls should just be boss souls. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know, man. We're up on the cliff, and I am not seeing a way to jump onto this dude. Thank you, Half Dan. see the thingies, but how the fuck do I get it to... Hmm. I hate these stupid messages. Dog? Wind jump on the lake itself. We were in the lake. I didn't see the wind jump though. It's not the ghosts. Soft chat. Um. This game is missing a glider? Fuck no, it's not. This game does not need a glider. Jack, I'm not fucking feeding you again, bro. You already ate. Someone tell my dickhead cat that he does not get soft food twice a day. Is gonna work. Do I even have a bow? I don't think I even have a bow. so that I can do this. I got a couple of them. thing bro for real did it did it drop my fucking oh my god I think the game dropped all of my fucking runes up top Ugh. suck my balls game suck my balls you would have made that jump I bet you would have Steven you're so fucking good bro you're just
stupendous. What an amazing player. I'm gonna test you. Y'all dookie. Y'all dookie. Test you. Put you away. Put you away. Give me this. White glow on the ankles hit that part. Yeah, my guy. There is no white glow on the ankles. Why do you think we're climbing up a giant fucking mountain for this one? Don't you think that after 150 hours of this game, I would know that I can hit the white things on the ankles, and I would be doing that if that was applicable to the current situation. God, this is like the three wise beasts all over again. Oh, just... The turtle's in the lake, bro. The turtle's in the lake. No, the turtle's not in the fucking lake, because we're not on that puzzle. Y'all are on the starter puzzles. The turtle's in the lake. Turtle's in the lake. <laughs> the turtle's not in the fucking lake. Not here. Not with this one. There's no turtle in the lake. Come over here, so that I can shoot you, you stupid thing. I'm gonna use mouse to aim. too far. I need to just fucking wait, dude. There is a grace by the north gate of the academy. I'm just gonna wait. Oh my god, we got one. Legit to the left of where you are. I'm, I'm fine doing it this way.
my god. Fuck you. Any tips for millennia? Get good. That's it. Get good. You cannot cheese millennia. She's fucking millennia for a reason. You want to beat her? You got to get good. How do you get? You get good. What do you do? You get good. How do you beat the secret boss? You get good. What did FromSoft say? They said to get good. FromSoft said secret bosses are hard. They said they would beat your ass far. So, how do you beat a secret boss? You get good. Those are my thoughts. I said get good. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Get good. That's, that's what you gotta do. Get good. It's time to get good. Get good. Uh, bosses, 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 bosses. Stormvale man, I have your thing. I have your things. I have your things. I have fire giants things. I need millennia's katana. I got Radon's things. I gotta go to volcano mana. I gotta kill that dude and get his thing. I don't really need it. It's a sorcery. I don't need that. I do need Millennium's Katana, though. I hate that area, though. That area suck. That area is big suck. Please go to Twitch. Uh, how about big fucking no? Twitch can suck my balls. Twitch would have to pay me lots of money for me to come to Twitch. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me select. Go. Oh. Oh God, no. Let me let me select. Hmm. Hang on. Oh no. Gotta get. Like right there, that seems to be like right in between them both. Yeah, it's pretty close. There we go. Go to Spotify. Also, no. So let's look at some of the boss weapons. You're gonna need 38, 12, 15. You're gonna need 35 fucking decks. Ooh, that's a lot. You're gonna need 34 strength, you're gonna need 24 strength, you're gonna need 18. Jack, shut the fuck up. You're gonna need 22. 60. Fuck! There's a puzzle in this town and we need to solve it. There's a puzzle in this town, and we'll show you how to get around. Light the four figures in the Ever Jail. There's a puzzle in this town, and we need to solve it. Oh, you're so fucking cute. I fucking hate this guy, dude. I hate this guy so much. This puzzle's easy. That guy's fucking annoying. That one dude is fucking obnoxious because he's invisible so the only thing you can do is just like fucking 
hope it works out. But I know some tricks. I know some things that'll beat him. Fuck this spell. Give me my big, give me my big dumpy. shut by a seal you need to solve the puzzle for it to be real we're gonna fuck up this guy Dodge this bitch. Yum. Yum. Woo! What do you got? I'm gonna get you. Boom! Oh, I had a bubble. I'm sorry, you did no damage. Got you again. Oh, got you again. Oh, got you again. Oh, you died. You died. Oh, now you're getting my balls in your dead mouth. Oh, fucking suck the balls. Archery ladies are scary. Teabagging the assassin is the best way to do it. Would dual katana be better than Star Scourge Greatsword? I'm confused on what I should pick, writes Dazo. Well, Dazo. There's a very simple solution to your problem. And that solution, my friend, is do you want to use katanas or do you want to use a big fucking greatsword? Because these are very different things. It's like saying, do I want to eat a burrito for lunch or do I want a rotisserie chicken? These are, these are, you can't, you can't compare a burrito to a rotisserie chicken. Because they're just, they're too different, you know? Both are good in their own way. But only you can decide if you're in a burrito mood or a rotisserie chicken mood. And that's the truth, man. There's no easy way around it. Sometimes, sometimes... I want to eat a rotisserie chicken. Sometimes I want a burrito. Sometimes I want chicken alfredo. Do you think you're taking the easy mode on the game if you decide to use summons on bosses? I think you should play however the fuck you want. Why do you care if someone else says it's easy mode? Tell them they're a fucking weirdo. Who cares? It's a video game. I hate that shit. Oh, spells is easy mode in Dark Souls. No, they're fucking... If it was easy mode, Miyazaki wouldn't have put it in the game. Who gives a shit how you play? Oh, you little fuck. Go 
God damn it, I hate these assassins. Well, we got two lanterns lit, boys. What about vegan options? This ain't a vegan stream. No, I'm not feeding you. Are cats vegan? Do you want to eat a cat? I have a delicious cat right here. Very nice, very fluffy. See, lots of floof. He will let you cradle him like a baby and scratch his chin. And he can be yours today for the low price of $19.95. For just $19.95, you can take this cat off my hands. Uh, and you can be the one that feeds him when he meows 70 fucking times throughout the day. Do you want a cat that'll meow constantly? Well, have I got a fucking deal for you. Meow. The shipping costs? I don't know. They're, uh... Something. We'll say. You gotta pick it up. He may be 1995, but I can't just shove him in a box. No, Jack. No. River blood's better than fang. I don't. Maybe sure. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Just use whatever you want, bro. Why everyone's so worried about what's better and what's best? Like none of it matters. None of it matters. Literally, none of it matters. Just, just pick a weapon and have fun. PVP ain't really happening right now, anyway. This guy can fuck off. I'm surrounded by liquid hot magma. Suck on the balls. So that's one light, that's two light, there's a light like over here in the front of the town. The max level is like 900. You can just keep, keep leveling. Have you got an Eleanor's pole blade? If so, what do you think of it? It has bad scaling, so I don't use it. I know there's one up in that tower. I swear there's one like over here, but I don't fucking remember where it's at. of blood are bad.
Bro, I've already I've already been through millennia. I've I've answered this. I have answered this multiple times. Millennia has been beaten. I literally like have all I need are endings, and I have the platinum. But you can't get that without beating millennia. Ah, oh, this place is so annoying, bro. I have beaten every boss in this game. This is literally, this is New Game Plus. Shade, I'm not saying that you've been here the whole time, but like, I've, I mean, I made it clear on the channel that I've beaten the game, that I've beaten the bosses, that I've beaten Millennia. Like, sorry you're taking it the wrong way, but like, I've, I've, you know. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've made it very, I've been very transparent that I've beaten everything in this game. I've mentioned it on Twitter, I've mentioned it on the channel updates, I've mentioned it on all of these streams that I have beaten the whole game and that I now have everything I need for the walkthrough and to write the trophies. So it's not that I, I'm, it's not that I, I, you know, I'm ignoring your question, it's that I've answered your question in multiple places, multiple times, and I would rather not answer the same question again. Last tower is up there. I gotta get past all these. Maybe I can sneak. out these archers before I can get up there. Easier way to get up on top of that thing.
It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I've made. I've made facts. Like literally, I've made fucking on on the uh, perfect example. <laughs> on so on the arcane build video right now. If I go to the arcane video. And I think it's just there's there's so many people coming for Elden Ring that it's like a huge huge increase into the amount of questions I typically have to ask. Like it's not just like oh, you know, there's there's more people like no, it's fucking let me let me break my thing here. Let me go down to the daily breakdown. Um no, I don't give a shit about this video. I want to see a daily breakdown for the channel. Uh we were averaging like 300,000 views a day and now we're averaging like close to a million views a day. So three times the amount of questions coming in from what I normally get. So here's here's a good one. On the arcane video, a couple of commonly question or er, commonly asked questions answered. This was pinned. Swarm of flies is found in Lord of Blood's area, other blood spells from the boss magma is unlocked at the Dragon Church after killing Theodorix. Plastics' is ruin is unlocked at the Dragon Church after you kill him. Hidden boss in Firm Azuli. Starting class is irrelevant at 150. Occult scaling is unlocked via Black Whetstone found in Nakron. Dual Reduvias is weaker. Eleanor's Pool Blade is weaker. This is a late game build. You can't really do this this early on. So that's the pinned comment. What are the questions? Where do I get those spells? No stat allocation? Stats are literally shown in the build. What do you think about Eleanor's Pool Blade? Why use a cult over bleed? Don't you want bleed build up? How does your stats look? Like, this shit's in the video! It's in the fucking video, man! I'm just like... <sighs> like, the quest- the, the answers are fucking there! The answers are there, but people aren't... People aren't fucking paying attention, or listening, or I don't- I don't know. Jack, no! No, I'm not feeding you. No, you ate already. Go! Scooch! Out! 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 Like, I'm not just ignoring questions because I'm grouchy. It's like, I've answered these questions. People aren't fucking reading. And I don't know if it's just because people are lazy, or if they just don't want to, but people just straight up, like, aren't reading. I'm pinning the answers to these questions in multiple places. People ain't reading it. And then they ask the same questions that I've answered and then they get upset when I don't answer it. And it's like, bro. I don't even know how I can get this shit. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, fuck it, stop it with the bow, stop it. Fuck, that thing is annoying. Holy shit. I heard there are four trophies that haven't been found yet. No, literally no. We could get the platinum this stream if we wanted. There's nothing that hasn't been found. Trophies have been found. The hidden bosses have been found. The legendary stuff has been found. I just don't want to answer the same questions so much. That's it. I just want people to, like, read stuff. That's it. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Grape Lady has been found.
Man, I need my flask active. I ain't dropping four million fucking souls. <clears throat> I'm not gonna release the video on Grape Lady. I'm too too deep into New Game Plus to go back. Well, actually, I guess I do have the one save that I could use. I have, a, I have my mule save. I could use that to talk about Grape Lady. But I mean, it's like it doesn't even matter. The thing you get from her isn't even that good. So it doesn't even. Like, there's really not even a, a good reason to to talk about Grape Lady other than. I, I'd be making a video on Grape Lady just so people stop asking me about Grape Lady. I didn't even test it. Does Mog Shackle work on Mog? In that boss fight? That thing hurts, bro. Go so right when right after someone's like, How does it wrap ramp up the difficulty? One shot. Go fast. Oh, fuck. Come on, we're almost there. Damn, we made it through. Oh, I'm sketchy. I'm healing, but we made it. Gotta be faster than that. Oh shit. I didn't mean to come down here. And I get out in time before this thing kills me. Go, 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 go. Too fast. Too fast.
tree person. Lead time. Easy clap. Easy, 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 easy. I'm going to need to like throw away souls. Otherwise, I'm going to start doing build videos and people are going to be like, how oh, you got so many souls? Well, this is a soul. How did it, why? Why so many souls? How do you get that many souls? Why do you have four million souls? Use the souls. <coughs> I don't remember what's in that treasure chest, but I think it's something good. It is something good, but it's not the something good that I wanted, something good. I'll tell you right now though, these four million souls are going towards buying a fuckload of upgrade mats. I'm gonna have enough upgrade mats that I never have to worry about upgrading again. And then I can respec, I can try out all the different builds. Out of the way, out of the way, clean rod. I'm not here for you, bro. Bleed. Yeah, block that, asshole. Go on and block the flies. Tell me how that works out for you. Is my shit. Where is my shit? Do 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 do. Samba ring, ancient dragon smithing stone. I know you're here. Found in a chest between columns, near a roof with a corpse. What the fuck? Dude, the wiki instructions are so fucking obscure. Found in a chest hidden between columns near a roof with a corpse carrying an item. After the prayer room, sight of grace. Chest hidden between columns near a roof with a corpse carrying an item. Jesus. Fuck. That's so... Chest between columns near a roof with a corpse. Oh no, the bad guys are coming. Please don't get me. Just kidding. Dragon death. Rotten decay. Dun 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 dun. Rotten decay. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
I'm gonna kill you. I warned you. I said don't do it, and you still ran at me. Alright, that's... There's a corpse on a roof. Is that the... Is that the roof corpse? This guy's like, fuck, I was on my break and this dude came out of nowhere with a bleed dagger. Yeah, that's not where I'm at, you fucking idiot. I think it's up here. That looks promising. Nope, that's just the McKellen sword. Uh Why no power stance for twin blade breed? I don't know, because because I don't want a power stance and they're heavy. Chest hidden between columns near a roof. Chest hidden between columns. Fuck. Wait, I think I, I, there's one other spot. The tree boss by the bridge. Behind him. <coughs> that guy. Nope, we're not getting hit by your bullshit. Oh, this is a shortcut for later. Well, my dude's gonna have to calm the fuck down on all that. Bro, could you not soon do something besides fucking spam one ability? Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. How do you get Fia to go to sleep? Have you tried giving her NyQuil? You think Fextra or the wiki would have better details? No. Bro, wikis, the thing everyone forgets about wikis is wikis are... Wikis are created by the community. So, it's not about... Like, Fextra isn't the one who's gonna put details in the wiki. It's, like, the people watching the streams that are gonna put details in the wiki. I considered making a wiki site. I was talking to my brother-in-law about it. I was like, we should make a wiki site. A wiki site is, like, the easiest, laziest way to just make fucking ad revenue like you do you do literally other people do the work for you because it's a wiki and it doesn't matter if it's inaccurate or not because people have nothing else to fucking use it's brilliant Why not then? Because I am... I don't have time. To be honest, I don't have the time. I'd need to... I would have to do that over making my own walkthrough. At least the core shimmer like gets up and running. Oh, okay.
Fuck it. What is this rot? Holy shit. Turn it off. Nope. Fuck. Did you find the chest and the corpse in the room between the columns? No, nope, didn't find it yet. I totally develop a wiki, bro. You develop a wiki site, and I will f I will put all of my Elden Ring notes into the wiki site. I don't lose my runes due to the physic effect. Sneak up and I'm gonna magma his ass before he can smack me with his big hammer. Sup, you broke bitch. He usually does two attacks in a row. Can't bleed trees, but you sure as fuck can light them on fire. 4.2 million. This is something good. What is it? Fucking there we go. Alright, that's... I think there's a different one. Because that... That doesn't make sense. That's what I needed. But the notes, once again... Found in a chest, hidden between columns near a roof with a corpse carrying an item after the prayer room site of grace. See, it can't be this, because that would just be on the bridge after the Erd Tree Guardian. Which would be a fuckload lot simpler to say. Which means that there is a chest hidden, magical, magical fucking chest. Found in a chest hidden between columns near a room. Where the fuck is- what? That's so obscure, dude. Who wrote these directions? I need like one- I might just go to the other zone. Because if I have three of them, four would be great. But if I have three, I can- I can build mule. Found a chest hidden between columns near a roof, carrying an item after the- what the fuck? So goddamn obscure. Not fighting you, crystalline lady. I don't like you. Oh, oh, oh. Chest hidden between columns near a roof with a corpse carrying an item. It don't make any fucking sense, bro. Don't make any fucking sense. Right there by the staircase. Bye. 
Bye. You're dead. At the two nights now, just head right. Right here? Ain't nothing here, bro. Oh, dude, the map, the map links on the wiki are terrible. And there's like a little disclaimer. It's like, well, map links can't really be purely accurate because there's like a lot of stuff to show. Like, why even, why even do the map? carrying an item. This is a roof carrying the corpse carrying an item. Hmm. <clears throat> I took that tree up. That leads me over to there, which is the shortcut. is not max. Friends getting murdered. Some of these guards aren't the brightest, bro. This guy's just sitting here fucking picking at his toes. This one is, but I'll use a key. Ah, it's just rings of light. I don't need that. Spell's so fucking strong, dude. Look at this guy. He's just trying to, like, cast. Nope, wrong spell. That's not what I wanted to do. Stand in the lava. That's going to work out really well.
None of these look like where I'm trying to get to. Almost all the way to the the ballistas. Do I still have my buff active? I do. Oh fuck it, I'm just gonna run for the ballistas. Oh fuck, no. No, we're so close. Doesn't matter, I got the grace. I don't think the wiki is accurate. I don't think there's there's a fucking chest hidden between columns near a roof with a corpse carrying an item after the prayer room site. I think we would have found it. Flame of Frenzy is one of the strongest spells in the game. It's viable for the whole thing. Just hidden between columns. I think you jump to the little bridge thing after Finley's ash room and go to the left. Hang on. I know where you're t I know where that's at. Are you talking about the buttress? We jump to the buttress near Finley's? That's you go here. And then this is Finley's room. Holy shit. Bro, that's so obscure. Why the fuck would they say that? Columns near a roof with a corpse carrying an item. All you should say is, is go down the buttress that leads to the, the gazebo and then go up the next buttress into an arcway where you will find a chest. That would have been so much fucking easier. They literally made it like as complicated as possible. Ugh. Literally, like how many, like, I mean, for real, how many, like, look at this, look at this. How many fucking gazebos do you see in the area besides that one gazebo? Does anyone else notice a gazebo? I don't. I see one. All you, all you gotta say, look, this is how you do a wiki entry. From the prayer, how's it called? From the prayer room, Grace, run straight along the path. Oh, we'll, we'll say proceed. From the prayer room, Grace. Proceed forward and down until you reach a guard that is holding a torch. Jump to a buttress and then towards a platform with a gazebo. The next immediate buttress leads to a chest. Right, okay, oh, guard with the thing, jump, okay. Oh, hey, look, there is a little gazebo there, neat. Oh, look, another buttress. Hang on, let's see, he said this leads to the chest, let's go. 
Oh, look at that. The chest is right fucking there. What an amazing difference some real fucking instructions make. Probably doesn't know what a buttress is. Well, they probably shouldn't be writing fucking wiki entries about a whole town where like half of the fucking town is buttresses. Hot take, wikis are deliberately obscure so you spend more time on the page. That's not even a hot take, that's just accurate. I really wish there was a way for me to like speed clear any markers I have. How OP do y'all think my build's gonna be against Millennia? Do you think she's gonna get her cheeks clapped by bleed? Or will she be the one that does the clapping? Ow, nope, nope, don't like that. Up the, up the bras, up, up the cliff thingy that's hanging off the thing. I will say one thing that I really like about New Game Plus is even though you're just kind of haul, like, you can haul ass very easily in New Game Plus. Like last night, oh, oh I thought that was going to be dangerous. Last night, I started, like, I, I barely I barely started New Game Plus. Like I hadn't gone almost anywhere. And now we're, we're about to fight fucking Millennia already. You can fucking... You can burn through this game if you know what you're doing. She probably hit hard. She probably do, but I also need her remembrance to get her katana because I have a feeling it's going to be one of the best dex build weapons in the game. Uh, hold up, though. I got to go get the fucking... Did I, do I have the Spear of Grancis on this save? Let me check because that's another weapon that I want to test out. I can't wait for the world first under our speed run. I don't know about that. I don't know if you could get an under our speed run. I think the thing is just because of how big the game is, I don't think we're going to see like super, super quick speed runs. Do I have my bolt of Granxis? Where are you, Granxy? Where the fuck is Granxis at? What the fuck? Did I not? No, I should have it. Cause this is New Game Plus. I literally sprinted through to get it. Where is it at? It should be with like the other spears. Where are spears at? They're next to like lances and shit. Or halberds. Do I not? Why did I not pick up the spear of Granxes? Let me go. Uh. I'm gonna check. Fucking hope I have it, bro. How you underestimate speedrunners? I'm not underestimating speedrunners. I'm just talking about the sheer size of the game. I think the big the biggest limit to speedrunners isn't gonna be killing bosses. It's gonna be the fact that you gotta run across the giant fucking world to get to the place you're trying to get to. Went up from where you stopped looking. Did I have it? Yeah, exactly. Like, just the, the sheer size of the game, there's no way someone's going to beat it in an hour without using some type of glitch. No, these are all of our spears. If I had it, it would have been... I do have it. Bolt of Grand Six. Okay. So what you gotta consider is to get, to get up into this region, which you need to finish the game. So you need to do, you need to do two bosses. If we're talking purely from a speedrun perspective, the fastest would be going to Stormvale, going through the front gate of Stormvale, hitting Liftside, taking out the boss. Immediately after that, going to, uh, going out here, getting the key to get into Ray Lucaria. Sprinting through that to kill Red Beast of Red again, and then Ray Lucario Grand Library. After that, 
uh, running on out here, taking the secret path up to Erdtree Gazing Hill, and then sprinting your way to the capital. You would need to kill a Draconic Tree Sentinel. Then you can sprint through most of the capital to make your way up to the boss here. After him, you're then able to make your way up north. You can forge the giants, and then, then you're ready to do shit. But that's still like, that's a lot of shit, dude. That's a lot of shit. Like people are gonna need, need glitches and shit. Use Scavenger's Curved Swords, then put on Ash of War, it's better for bleed build. You have no fucking clue what you're talking about. You watched a funny PvP video that Fighter PL made, and now you think you know how to make bleed builds. Stop. No, that video was fucking funny. I can guarantee you beyond a doubt that I will proc bleed faster with this and Sinpuku. Why so aggressive? That's not aggressive. I'm just calling out bullshit, bro. Listen, I spend a lot of time testing mechanics. I spend a lot of time making sure when I do stuff, it's accurate. And because of all that time that I spend, when people try to tell me like, oh, nah, you gotta do this, this is better. And when the this they're suggesting clearly is not better, and I know because I've tested it, that shit gets to me. It's the same as when people, I, I had someone the other night, man. I was already in bed, and I was like, let me see if there's any questions on the on the Reddit thread about legendaries. And somebody's like, Oh uh, yeah, you missed a legendary sword. It's called uh, the Slayer, the Godskin Slayer. You get it at the bottom of the tower, and I'm like, it's not a legendary sword. And the dude's like, nah, yeah, it's a legendary sword. It's a legendary sword. And I got my ass out of bed. I got... This, I, I can't, I don't like this shit. I don't, I, I got my ass out of bed, came downstairs, went over to the fucking sword, which I love the sword. I used it for a bit. It's a good sword. It's not fucking legendary. So get out of bed, go over to the sword, wherever the fuck it's at. It's here somewhere. Here we go. Look at that. The words legendary are nowhere on the fucking sword. I had to get a screenshot. I had to get a screenshot and be like, do you see the words legendary there? No, that is the deciding factor. It is not a legendary. Like, way, way too many people that are like, trust me, bro, I know. Like, no, you fucking don't. I have a lot of time in this game. I don't, I don't have, it's not like I just, uh, yeah, uh, what's happening, guys? We're, uh, we're trying out, uh, this is the bleed build. Yeah, these, these are called the rivers of blood. They have blood in the name, so, you know, they're going to be really fucking good for, for a bleed build. Probably one of the best bleed build things. No, no. You want to know what I did for the bleed build? What I did with the bleed build is I considered what are going to be my best combinations to get off bleed. And it's either going to be dual wielding bleed weapons or it's going to be something that can do a quick multi hit like the twin blade. So I consider a couple choices here. First thing I do wherever my fucking twin blades at, I look at the twin blades, right? I can see the scaling on them. This one's going to be 16, 18. This one's going to be 18, 15. This one's 18, 15, 22. Didn't have this one at the time, but the arcane scaling is shit. So out of these, uh, I believe only, you know what? I'll just pull them all out. I'm going to show y'all the process. I'm going to show y'all how fucking, how, how OCD meticulous I am with this shit. So then we're going to go to Ash of War. We're going to look and we're going to see, all right, Gargoyle Twin Blade, Occult Godskin, Twin Night Swords. Those are the, those are the only ones that are going to matter because those are the only ones I can put in Ash of War on. 
So, you know, all right, well, knowing that, there's a couple that we just don't need anymore. We can, we know we can't do it with you, and we know we can't do anything with Elnor's pool blade. Keep in mind, this only has descaling and arcane, so I know that's going to be fucking dookie. We need to maximize our arcane. This is an arcane build. So then we're going to go put this on. I'm probably want that on, to be honest. Uh, then we're going to go to our Ashes of War, and we're going to look. If I were to just put put three things on, put a cult on that bad boy, put a cult on that bad boy, and I'm going to start to do this. Initially, I'm going to do this with all the weapons while they're under leveled, and I'm going to look, and I'm going to see what the scaling is. So, all right, this one, you know, this one's leveled up a bit, obviously, but this gets up to, it's going to go up to B arcane. This one starts with a C arcane. This one starts with a C arcane. Okay, it's not bad. Let's consider the weights. 8 weight, 8 weight, 8.5. This one's going to be heavier. It's going to need 18 strength, which isn't that far off from what we already have. This one's going to need only 17. This one's going to need only 16. Besides that, let's see if there's anything unique about them. Okay, this one just has a unique design. This one, nothing special about it. This one, just, you know, patchwork. So... After we've looked at all the stats, then what we're going to do, then what we're going to do is determine what is the scaling when we level these up with all these fucking mats that we have because it's a mule. So we're going to start leveling this shit up and we're going to see which of these is going to work for the build. Now, honestly, any of these could probably work for the build. This one, I can take a little bit of dex out and I'll be able to, to get that one point of strength. This one is going to be the raw cheapest, but there's some other considerations, you know? Like fucking fashion. And when you look at fashion, alright? When you look at fashion, you gotta consider which one of these is gonna look the most badass when it's coated in blood. This one, where your guy stabs himself, and then suddenly you have this like bleed sickle thing? Or do you want this weird pokey nightstick? That doesn't look good. This doesn't look like I'm some edgy bleed guy. It looks like I'm a fucking knight ready to fight on a horse. And then we look at that, and you're like, ah, oh, well, it's orange. This makes me think of fire. But this, this makes me think I'm some kind of weird fucking degenerate, and the blood swirls around the tip. Fashion is important. So unless one of those twin blades does, like, 50 plus AR more, which, spoiler alert, it doesn't. They're all relatively the same. It just depends on your stat scaling. You gotta go for the one that's gonna have the most fashion. Gonna have the fashion. Fashion is important, boys. We even tested Dual Reduvius, because, you know, Dual Reduvia, why not? Alright, let's go fight an endgame boss and probably get our, our cheeks clapped. Here it is, boys. This is the hardest boss in the game. Oh no, she's already on me. Oh god. Uh, go, go, Mimics. Alright, now that she's fighting the Mimic, now is when we... Now is when we start doing our thing. Let's see. Can you even bleed Millennia? Yes, you can. Millennia has a Bloodborne Rally. That's why you can't fuck around with her. You just gotta go all in on it. You can't, you can't let her, you can't let her do her attacks. Cause no, you know, you just keep, you just gotta keep hitting her with the flies, baby. Hit her with the flies. Don't let her do shit. Don't let that katana hit you. She's gonna start healing. There we go. Yeah, hit her with the rot breath. There we go. Good distraction. I know that this fight's gonna have a rot involved, so we're gonna do some rot. It's probably a bad idea, but we're gonna try and get the damage in. Now, now. Tell you what, faith build fucked her up a lot faster. Oh, 
Whoa! Damn, New Game Plus Melenia does not fuck around, bro. She did so much fucking damage. How many things do I got? Three. And I got a fourth up in for Rumazula. Yeah, her leeching off the summon hurts. Which means we gotta zug zug faster. There's my dagger. Like this. So rot ain't working all that well. What about liquid hot magma? I think she just like dodged it. I might need to put Frenzy on. See, this is the critical part of the fight. Because we gotta kill her. We gotta initiate phase two before... She gets off some bullshit. There we go. All right, phase two. We're good. Now she's the goddess of rot. You don't want to, don't want to let that hit you. That's a bad. That's a bad touch. That's the bad touch. Damn. Damn. So much fucking damage. Frenzy is like one of the best things in the entire game. Ready? You want to see why I'm not dropping souls on death? Ready? The game's going to tell you. Look at that. Physic effects prevented your runes from being lost upon death. We need more. Oh, that's the uh. Bro, I was dodging. I was trying so hard to get out of the way. You say that. Don't let it hit you. Like, like, like I was intentional, bro. You think I just wanted to get hit by her giant mega flower of doom? No. I wanted nothing to do with that. Do you like frost? Oh yeah, you really like frost. Hmm. You better look at that mimic, he's gonna get you. See, and this is the trick. This is the trick. You fight a boss. Oh, the boss. I can't. I can't get her with the rot breath. All right. Bet. There you go. Enjoy frostbite breath. I'm gonna figure out something to harass his weak too. Damn, dude, the fucking katana combo. <laughs> oh, that shit hits so fucking hard. And it like, this is why I said, dude, people are like, what's going to be the hardest boss? I just called Millennia. I called that shit as soon as I experienced her. Oh, man. Y'all are seeing how much fucking damage I'm doing. It doesn't matter to her. She just, she just fucking kills. And it's the frenzy. It's the frenzy that gets you. Well, not the frenzy, the uh, the rally. The fact that this boss can fucking heal itself has Bloodborne rally built in. Hey, 
Yeah, you should look at the mimic. Yeah, look, that thing's attacking you. Look at the healing, bro! She's so close to being done this phase and still just like heal, 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 heal. God damn, bro. Got that off. I don't think I can even win this. Not without Mimic. Oh god, no, 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 fuck me, bro. Is the bleed katana build on your channel? We're not using a katana, but yes. Trying to think what else I can change here. Well, we're not really using attack power. We gotta go charge. We're putting that on. This fight is it's up to it's up to frenzy. Flame of frenzy has to carry us. This boss, this is the hidden boss. I told y'all the hidden boss is one of the hardest bosses in the game. But no one wanted to listen. Everyone's like, I'm a beater. You think that? dodge at all. You can't dodge everything, Millennia. Stagger lock! Freeze! Freeze to death! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Black clone killed me. <laughs> Bro. What do you want, Harley Mount Mouse? Teach you? Teach you what? She's beating my ass. And you wanna know what the craziest thing is? Y'all, y'all have seen what this build can do. Y'all have seen the type of damage that we are doing. And you're seeing what this boss is doing to us. So here's another trick you can do to make bosses a little bit easier. 
And that's going to be taking off spells that we don't want the Mimic to use. So, for example, if I just go with these three... Is this your first time fighting? Yeah, it's my first time fighting her with, with her, her gear and shit already. Come on, Miner. Come on, man. Stop the healing, lady. Oh, fuck. Mega bleed. Mega ultra bleed stagger. Nope, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. This looks dangerous. Mega bleed mode. Yeah! Mega bleed. Got it. Yeah. I'm extraordinary. I'm a true lord. I'm so cool. Ugh. Easy clap. Mega bleed. the katana and that is that do what you um meow all right what else do i gotta do um what else do i gotta do i mean i think i got everything i need for a i wouldn't mind getting one more but three is more than enough that means i can always max out three weapons um, boss remembrances. Estelle has like a weird whip thing that I'm not really that worried about. I don't need the Estelle whip. Um, other things include... I mean, there's a lot of other remembrances. There's, there's Big Dumb Deer and there's Estelle. Besides them... No, I need to go to the crumbling... Let's go through here. I need to get to the boss here. I just need my somber bell so I can start buying upgrade mats. Time to sprint. Oh, ice come from here. That's the wrong way.
makes making builds for other playthroughs easier. I mean, technically, but this is actually just so I can do a bunch of builds on this playthrough. I'm not worried about making other builds right now. My plan is to straight up sorcery build, I'm do it with this guy. Quality build, I'm gonna do it with this guy. I'm gonna use this guy to make all of my different builds, try them on out. Because I have more than enough souls to upgrade anything that I have to upgrade. I have all the upgrade mats I could possibly need. I have all the weapons. And so I, if there's something I want to test, I can spec, I can test it, and then I can just keep doing it over and over and over. Zomber Smith's Final Bearing Binding 4. Which one is that? Somber Smithing Stone 7 and 8. Okay, that's good. It's not what I need, though. Um, I don't need Somber. I need... Ball Bearing Locations. Somber Stone. Ball bearing, smithing stone. I need to beat the bosses. The crumbling, uh, da, 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 da. and then there's Zamor ruins. It's five and six. You don't have unlimited respec, but. What I am going to do is once this build is done, I'm going to take my save, I'm going to back it up, and I'm going to name it, like, Build Save. And that way it still has a ton of bosses alive, and it has all the upgrade mats, and it has all my graces. And then I'm going to take Build Save, and I'm just going to keep working on my other characters, and anytime I want to try out a new build, I will just reload that one save, so I come right back to this guy with 5 million souls and all of his items unspent. And then I'll be able to test shit out, every time. Rune arcs have nothing to do with respecking. This is like my second full playthrough. And I have, oh, it's a fatty boys. All right, y'all can stop with the black flame. I get it. Y'all like black flame. Oh, no you don't, Chunky Lunky.
Oh my god. Y'all just don't know when to fucking quit, do ya? Just keep fucking coming. Okay, they're down. Um, Dragon Temple rooftop is the fourth sombering. I think if I remember, that's this way. That guy with the throwing things. That looks promising. Ugh. Hello there, doggies. Literally hauling ass through the zone. Big old member. Um, I really wish they'd fix that. Such a weird bug. No, you are. We're not fucking with you. Yeah, let me fix this. It's just gonna keep going off for like. the way I want to go. Think, 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 think. Which way was it? Is it past this guy? Uh, this didn't I come from over here? What the fuck? I need a moment to look around, which means y'all need to all fucking die. PvP meta is unset. Oh, is this guy? Oh no, I know where I gotta go. Hang on. I gotta go. Fuck. Really not trying to fuck with him. Okay, we're good. Wait, isn't there a grace like right there? Did I miss the grace while I was running from Guy? I think I did. Why doesn't the lightning also hit all of your friends? 
I'm not here for you, big ancient angry douchebag. Y'all are seeing speedrun strats in real time right now. All right, I need a dragon rooftop. Behind the dragon. Let me rest. I think I can work my way from behind. Oh, wait. I know where it's at. I know where it's at. I know how to get there. And then I'd like to try and kill Dragon Lord and then get some more somber stones. Shield. Don't worry. Stop with all the lightning. Ow. Did you get blood spells early? No. Even if you do Varl's quest line, the only spell. So there are like three blood spells in the Gleep game. You have Blood Flame Blade, which isn't very good. You have Swarm of Flies, which is good, and you can get that one following dude's quest line. And we, the last thing you have is uh, my blood fire, which comes from the boss. So unless you can kill that boss, you're not getting it. All right, um, let me think. What was he weak to? I think Rot Breath worked on him, right? And I know that did, and I know Bleed Will. I think that's all we need. Yeah, you can get Swarm of Flies, but Swarm of Flies ain't gonna molest early game content like it is here, I don't think. Here we go, boys! World first, Dragon Lord, Placidex, New Game Plus! Oh, look, now there's like down, 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 down. Yeah, oh. Oh, too far. Dragon seals from the tomb at the start of the game. Imagine if it one shots now. I mean, it probably fucking will. So we're gonna get as juicy as possible. Max all the stats. I mean, this build, in theory, this build should kill it better than my first kill. Because we have bleed. And bleed is HP percentage based. And I'm gonna do a lot of fucking bleed to this dragon. And then dragon about to be big sad.
I'm gonna actually let this one play out just because this guy's cool as fuck. Time rewinds. I love this whole like cutscene, everything about this. I'm like, yeah. guy waking up like what what God, it's so badass looking, bro. Actually, hang on. I should go let out the dogs before I do this, because the dogs have to go potty. I'll give it one attempt. If he beats me, uh, I'm going to have to take a break to let out the puppies. World first 2.0. Everything about this fight, I love. I love that he used to have a third head too. Maybe even four heads. Guys, the dragon's not bleeding. Oh, there we go. He just has a very high bleed tolerance. I need you to bleed faster. I love this shit, man. This reminds me of, like, fucking Safi. This is some Monster Hunter tier shit. gonna win and the exciting conclusion of how many bosses can cowboy cheese come on mimic we gotta do it one and done baby here we go bleed 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 bleed, bleed. it is time for dragon to bleed 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 you are gonna bleed. I am the Lord of Flies. Lord of Flies. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh shit! Oh. 
I know this move. Oh, 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 Lord of Flies! Lord of Flies is victorious! Yes! Flies! The Flies! Oh, look at all the souls! Maybe I'll start starting all the build showcases from here, just because this is a cool fucking place. Is that is that World First New Game Plus kill? World First New Game Plus? World, World, World First New Game Plus? Don't worry. Mmm, Dragon King Cragblade. Alright, let's think. Oh, I gotta find... Let me go, let me go let the dogs out. If I don't let the dogs out, one of them's gonna pee on something.
So Bandai uh, obviously knew that I got World First New Game Plus. Uh, that's right, baby. Uh, trolley. Peachy Elden Rings. And a, a, a sweet little, sweet little thing from the, from Bandai waiting at the front door when I let the dogs out. Which I just find really funny. I got a tweet. I got to tweet it out. Mm. We have searched the lands between with our delicious sour gummy bodies and have found these sweet peachy Elden rings. For the sake of all tarnished, we hope you devour them with great speed. Please remember, these limited edition Sweet Peachy Elden Rings are not for sale. They have been exclusive, selected exclusively for fans of Trolley and Elden Ring. They're not for sale. Well, they are for sale in my belly. Limited edition food. Gotta eat it. I always feel bad for limited edition food because I'm sure there's somebody that... Is like, yo, I'll pay you like a hundred dollars for those peach rings, bro. I need those Elden Ring peach rings. And I'm like, ah, uh, I'm eating them. <laughs> They're food. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Well, I can love peach rings. Mmm. <laughs> I gotta kill Hora for the Axe of Godfrey. Natural Born for the Bastard Stars. Which are a whip. Uh, Blasphemous for Rikard's Rancor. Omen King for Morgoth's Cursed Sword. Fuck, gotta fight Omen King again? No, hang on. Gotta figure what other bosses I gotta kill. So Sacred Relic Sword is 142222. Probably not gonna use that. Um, got that, got that, got that, got that. So Rikard's Rancor, which is a sorcery I don't have. Where's the Axe of Godfrey for um Hora Lu? There's a 42 strength, possibly big Zug Zug axe. That could be good. And then another axe. Weapon skills, soul stifler. Temporarily suffer from reduced defense. Oh. Hmm.
Natural born is Estelle. Which to do him, I think you have to do Ronnie's quest line. Yeah. So there's Estelle, Remembrance has an axe, and there's Hora. So I want to do Hora. <sighs> what release do you have set? Whatever the, the latest is. I'm always playing on the latest release. The horrors at Elden Throne. But I'll lock myself out of the capital. I can have the peach rings. Get your own. Alright. How many do I have? I have four. How many final tier mats do I have? I have four. Somber, ancient dragon, smithing stone. Wait, where is the eight? Where's the nines at? How many nines do I have? Oh, nines, I have 13. Well, I don't need any more than four. So four, 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 four. That's good. Uh, this... Those I need a lot of. So I, I'd like to do at least four. Uh, four. So it's 12 per upgrade. So if I want 48, I need 44 of these bad boys. And then I need 41 of them. Okay, it's good. I want to have enough to upgrade four weapons to max on the mule. So next I gotta go... Um, what do we need? S uh, chest in the Zamor Ruins, Smithing Stone 5 and 6. Zamor ruins are Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Gummies. Mmm, so good. So what we're doing right now is we're finding enough stuff that when I want to make builds, I will have enough upgrades on hand to max out four different items. So whether it's catalysts, weapons, whether it's normal, whether it's somber, 
that's what we are going for at the moment. We want to, I want to have enough upgrade mats that, oh, I want to make four fucking swords and maxim. I can do that. So that's what we're doing right now. That one. Um, let's see. Um, the next two would be Sealed Tunnel and Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Halfway down the Sealed Tunnel. Sealed Tunnel. What is that at? Okay, I see it. Fuck. Um, I guess we'll start from here. I'm having hella trouble. Not just regular, but hella. Time, what time is it? What time is it? It's, uh, let me, let me ask Paige if I'm ordering food or if she's bringing home food. Are you bringing home some food or should I order something? Why are there two marks on the map? Go away. Hella. This will be good though. I'll have lots of areas unveiled. See, so, yeah, ideally, I'd like to avoid any boss that's not like a world boss or anything that's not like a I have to kill this for game progression. I'm trying to avoid killing it because when it comes to making the build videos, I want to have a shit ton of stuff to choose from. So, you know, if there's a pumpkin head, I can kill the pumpkin head. If there's uh, just some knights, I can kill the knights. I want to have a large variety of things to murder. Because the more things I have that I can murder, the more I'll be able to do build videos without being like, all right, this time we're gonna kill this guy again. I know we killed him with the last boss video, but you know, he's, again, I don't wanna do that. I wanna have variety in my murder. How many deaths? I don't die, bro. Don't you see my soul count? You think I got 4.9 million souls from dying? No. That's from the secret mega soul multiplier. The more you play without dying, the more the game starts multiplying your soul gain. Where's it at? The mines should be here. And then this asshole just showed up. Fucking, where's the... Man, I'm not trying to fight you right now. This fucking thing. Oh, son of a bitch. I gotta go past the wall. Can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not. Just everything I say is sarcastic. It's all sarcasm. It was said in Cowboy Stream, must be true. Put it on the wiki. Let's 
up, nerds? You gotta be faster than that. I'm like the fucking gingerbread man. Look at me go. This is the Mega Cowboy build. We call it the Mega Cowboy because it's so fucking strong. It's so fucking strong. This build's so fucking good. You'll play it and you'll just. Uh, it's too much. Uh, I can't handle it. That's what happens. That's what happens. It's just too much. Your body just. Uh, you're just all over yourself. Moistness. No! That death doesn't count. That's not a real death. Only deaths to a boss can count. Where do you respect? Respect starts here, bro. If you want to get respect, you gotta give respect. Alright, let's see. Uh, according to this website... Found in a chest halfway down. Okay, it's a little bit vague, but we're gonna try our best. Chest halfway down. Let's, let's find it. Secret tunnel, bro. Is this a chest that's halfway down? Oh, it is. That's not even halfway down. That's like the first chest you encounter. Who writes these guides? Yeah, you're gonna have to go deep in and uh, about halfway down the chasm, you should find a, a chest you can use. What? It's, it's right- it's right fucking there! It is a walk inside, turn right, and go 20 feet. Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel is the last one I need. Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Rhea Lucaria, where are you? Rhea Lucaria, Crystal Tunnel. Where are you? Why can't I leave? Ugh, it's because I'm in a cave. I hate this shit. I go this way. Not that way. How the fuck did I get in here? What the hell? That's this is the this is the way with the stuff. I drop down a hole. Oh, there it is. I'm like, why am I blind? Why can I not see this? Maria Lucaria. All right, chat. Now for the big one. I got a big. Juicy question for you. Question that's burning.
I establish the meta. Look at that big fucking juicy question on the screen right now. And now is your time. You get to decide what build video you want to see next. Do you want big weapon strength builds? Do you want fast, deadly dex builds? Do you want balanced, all around quality builds? Or do you want big magic intelligence builds? So much fucking build variety. Do you want big fucking spells? Or big fucking swords? Call now. 1-800. Get good. I'm gonna make a God Slayer build. Bless your heart. I hope it works out for you. Show me your big spells. Hot singles in your area now. But they only want the biggest spells. And do you have a little spell? Just can't get your glintstone staff to glintstone blast? Well, we're here for you. With big strength weapons. And a high intelligence scores. Having trouble with the game? Try casting these spells today. Call now. 1-888-GET-GOOD. The biggest, juiciest spells. Taylor needs some juicy spells, it sounds like. Has Millennia got you down? Is the goddess of rot beating your ass because you suck? Well, we suck too. But there's a way to get good by calling today. 1 888 Get Good. All right, now that that was fucking funny right there. That dude. <laughs> oh man, that dude just fucking yeeted himself to try and get me. It did not work out. Wow, a Crystillion. Beyblade. And crystals bleed, we're gonna find out. Rot and decay. Bigger spells, Daddy. Get good. What build is this? It's a big, juicy spell build. But it can also use weapons. Have you ever seen such flexibility? It can do everything 
Do you want spells? We got them. Do you want to smack stuff with your big pole? You can do that too. See 48, we gotta go up to 46 on this one. We gotta go up to 1, 2, 3, 48. Forty-eight. Mm. 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48. Feels good. Wait a minute. Seven, eight. Oh, there is no nine. There's a nine for Sombers. No, yeah, I'm not sure. Give them to me. All right, now to look. Confirm. That looks good. That's four maxes. That's four maxes. Oh, we're looking real good now on them upgrade mats. All right, other things to do. Uh, kill Regal Ancestor, kill Wackity Wiggly Man, kill Horaloo, and then I guess kill Final Boss, but I don't really want to kill the Final Boss. Mmm. Mistwood. Man, this is a really tight pull. No one gives a shit about quality. It's intelligence, strength, and death. Oh, it's, be it's coming down between strength and intelligence. How did I get all the souls? By calling 1-800-GET-GOOD. Soft doesn't give a shit about quality, not our fault. Uh, some of the best weapons in the game are quality. See this big fucking axe? This is a quality build weapon. I'm meaning to upgrade that, but we'll do it after I've uh, backed up the save. Y'all ready for a big fucking shaft? Look how deep it can go. Even when you think it's reached its peak, it just keeps going and going and going. Such a huge, deep, wide shaft. We're almost there. No, we're not. It's even deeper. So fucking deep. You could go make a sandwich with the amount of time you have. Mm, and then we slow down right at the end for the final push. Do you want golden seed?
So it looks like strength is gonna win. Followed by spellcaster boys. So many bosses to kill, so many things to do. Strong boys. Do you want to fight bosses in Elden Ring? Then you need to light the flames. Eight flames in particular. For eight bosses. So, 40 strength, 40 dex. Godfrey Axe is really good. I don't know, man. It might be. But y'all didn't want to see the quality build, so... I won't know. It'll take a long time before I can show you. Jake, welcome. We're gonna kill a big fucking boss. But first, we need to run past hit scan arrows. They're so fast, they'll snipe you straight off your invisible horse. You want to teleport to strange new places? Well, I got the thing for you. Ooh. Hmm. Look at the penetrative power of these packed arrows. So strong, so long. Do you want your own mega penetrative arrows? Get them today. At one eight hundred, light eight fires. Ben says, put out more walkthroughs per day. Mm, Ben's a greedy boy. He says, I want all the let's play and all the walkthroughs. I don't want to wait. I want it now. Give it to me now. Oh, fuck. Don't make build videos. Give me the walkthrough. I don't want to wait. I need it now. fires do we need? 
how many more fires? Yeah, all my Souls Souls games are done with this voice. towers. Fires, do we need to light? I need two up here. I think there's one more by the crabs, maybe. Maybe we have them all. Let's find out. Let's eat more candy. There's two more fires. This walkthrough is too fast to follow. Um, sir, this is a Burger King drive through Five frames. Supersized. Whoa. Mm, this ain't my first rodeo, but it'll be your last. Are you ready to have your back broken, Buckaroo? In 
to the fever dream. Guys, did you know that your little, little dude here is like a baby version of one of these? Magical spirit jumps. Slight blue trail. Horns. Here, Mr. Spirit. I can breathe too. Down he go. Oh shit, that's not the one I had to kill. Fuck. I wasted all my time for nothing, son of a bitch. Why did you mark it? Just fast travel. How do you always know where to go next? It's almost like I'm the person that writes the guides on how to play the game. I wonder why. This is a big daddy build. To make a big daddy build, the first and most important step is you gotta be a daddy. So, if you don't have any offspring, you can't be a daddy build. The next, you need to have ascended to a level of dad where you have a proper dad dick. If you're still like a fresh dad, you don't got a dad dick yet. Only somebody that has the girth of a true dad can handle a build like this. You gotta be ready to, to wrangle a monster in. It's an important thing. And then the third and the final, probably the most important step in making a big daddy build is you need to be ready for the thirst because everybody is going to want your golden seed. And I'll tell you what, thirst don't quit. No, more more kids doesn't it doesn't increase your dad score. You just got to have the first. And it has to be out of the basics. I thought people were always like, I don't know how to get into Nakron. How do you get into Nakron? And I tell them, I'm like, you just go down. And they're like, but how? You, you just go, you go down the big fucking hole. How do I go down the hole? You go down the hole like that. You, you just go down the big fucking hole. That's it. That's how you get to Nakron. Big fucking hole. Go down it. I think the thing is, people are, they're too scared to, like, fall or jump. Nobody, nobody wants to, everyone wants to 
Show me Nakron. How do I get into Nakron? Just go down the hole. That's it. Just go down the fucking hole. Look at that. I went down the hole and now I'm in Nakron. I can blame them because this is another Souls games. You gotta be ready to adapt. Change. can't let your experience with an older Souls game dictate your experience with Elden Ring. If there was ever a boss fight that I might lose, it would be this one. But this does give me a chance to test something that I really want to test. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it does work! This is a mimic boss fight. If you take off your weapons, the <laughs> mimic can't fucking do anything. <laughs> oh, that's such amazing cheese. <laughs> look at him go! Look at him! Look how hard he's trying! Let me show you the power of a true mimic. You are but a weak pretender. These are the MLG strats you come to this channel to for. Beat the Mimic tier. We can show you that. We can show you how to beat every boss. Do you want to get good? Well, we have just the thing for you.
Look at this long run we're doing to look for items. ASMR Cowboy, exclusive to YouTube on Thursday nights. I'm about to show y'all how to get to one of the most hidden spots in the game. Had so many people ask, they're like, how? How, cowboy? How do I reach the city? How do I reach? Oh, I think the game crashed. Fail. Oh, wait. No. Is it recovering? Uh, saying, saying good. We were so strong, we killed the game. It's going to be a big rip. Goodbye, Elden Ring. <laughs> the game didn't want me to share the secrets. I'm like looking at, at boss things. The wiki goes, this is not an optional boss as players must defeat it to advance in Elden Ring. And then down on the notes, this is an optional boss and is not needed for the story to progress. What a fucking mess, man. What a absolute fucking mess. Quality assured. Peak fucking quality here. I'm eating edibles? No, I'm eating fucking trollios, bro. Come on. Get with the program. Look, there it is, guys. That's it. That's the secret hidden city. That's the secret hidden city. How do we get into it though? That's what we need. We need to get into the secret hidden city. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? We're gonna open this one up to the class. Does anyone know how to reach the sacred hidden city? This is like a, you know, who can solve the science problem? Does anybody know how to get into the secret hidden city? Secret tunnel? Find... Oh, wait, wait, I see it. Bear nose. You jump down. Now, I know this is really fucking out there. But watch this, right? So this is the secret city. I, I, these were the directions I gave in my guide to get here. And people said that they couldn't find it. I said, you start from the ancestral woods bonfire, and then you just work your way down into night sacred ground. And people said, how? How do I get there? Well, people that are asking the question. Fucking ta-da! 
You've made it. You've made it into the magical secret city. All it took was a fucking jump. So many people. So many people upset that they couldn't figure that out. You're gonna need a bigger crossbow than that, lady. Why bad guide? Why not show? Why didn't you show how to reach the city? I don't know now. Remember, that is where I need to get. Holy ball. What is this silver mist shit? Get it out of here. Big ball. Talk to Ronnie first. Oh. Teleporting. Goodbye, giant. I never talked to fucking Ronnie, bro. Armor set is from one of the bosses. Blah your opinion on bosses with lifesteal? Get good. Which boss? It's fucking Radon. It's like the third boss of the game, bro. If you haven't seen the boss, then I can't help you. Exists, yes.
Yeah, no more cape. Now we're just fucking thick. Uh, uh, look at how thick I am. Uh, uh, I'm thicken. Thick man. Mm. Uh. We're fucking juicy now. Look at us, boys. Oh, big old juicy boy. This guy looks like he could eat at least two pizzas. See, cloaks hide the true value of the thick. Maybe I'm too thick. Let's slim down a little. We gotta... See, that's, that's also thick, but it looks good. Now that's really thick. Extra thickums. Thick thickiest. Thick. Thick as fuck. With a big thick cape. Banish thickness. And then... Fucking chungus size, baby. <laughs> What's my weight at? Let's see. Heavy load. <laughs> I'm just gonna be Chungus just. <laughs> I am the Chungus. Call me Mr. Chung. Now when people come in, they're like, what build is this? I'm gonna be like, it's a thick boy build. <laughs> That's what it is. The thickest shit. Obese roll? I think not. Look at them fucking quick rolls. I'm a thick ass boy with some really fast rolls. Where do I go? Nobody knows. You can't hit me with the arrow you hose. Thickums. That's how he goes. Brown. 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 Have some flies. Brown. Brown. Break it down. Brown. 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 Break it down. Thick man. He's coming for you. If you get in his way, he gonna go boom. You think. We roll them real thick, but we're a ball, and we move real quick. Look at us, with our fast rolls. Thick ass man, he always goes. Thick, 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 thick. Everybody, thick, 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 thick. Like, I'm so thick, they're like, whoa, 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 is that a thick boy? It's a thick ass boy. Oh. Too fast. You can't catch the thick man. Thick, 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 thick. Royal Knight Loretta. My turn. Can a ghost bleed? We're about to find out. Look at Thick Man going to town. We're doubling the thickness. Dragon of Bratu! I need to put on my other spells. I want my other spells back. Okay, we got the Thick. And we got the toss. And then after that, we had, uh, I need a snipe. That's my snipe. And then we have, uh, magma. We have rot. We have big boy. 
And then we have the boob. Yeah, let's do that. I like that setup. How does anyone get this good? By calling 1 800 Get Good. There's a big scary dragon here. Need a Ronnie's quest. Out of my way, dragon. I'm trying to get inside the tower. And this foggy ass area is tanking my frames already. Playing at a steady 34. Oh, 41 FPS. It's going up. Man, so many people struggle bust the fuck out of this. And they're like, I can't make the quest work. Jiggle it. When I jiggle, when I wiggle. Look at me. I move faster than a thimble. Jiggle it. Jiggle and we do it. When we jiggle, we do it for you. Jiggle it. Jiggle real fast. Jiggle real fast. I'm a jiggling. Thou must have, though I have no, no particular tree. reason. I just want to be your friend, well. Ice Waifu. Ice Fuck yeah. What do you want me to do? I will go find the city's hidden treasure. First, I need to talk to people. Jiggle it. Jiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle it. Jiggle. And the wiggle. How do you get Theodorix's magma spell? Have you watched the video with it? Have you watched the build video where it explains where to get Theodorix's magma spell? Pondering if I should use a stone digger sorcery on the stone head mage. Uh, no, you should not. Her quest activates much, 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 much later. Just leave her alone. Now, what I would be curious about is seeing somebody use a stone digger sorcery on one of those crystalline things and see if it just instantly fucks it up. I didn't even see Blade in here. Where is he at? Let us give together. This is a confessor. I gotta take my cape off so I have better rotund rolls. Are there legs that match this? Oh, that really, really maximizes our thickness. What about thick boy gloves? Oh my god, look how fucking thick we are. And what about thick boy helm? You're fucking thick. I don't want that though. I want my helm back. I don't really need you. What did I even have on? I have my blood thing on. I don't need that. Fuck yes. Thick, 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 thick. Ah, I shall soon. And it will be this doll's. Still, I look. I shall, and it will be. I have high look. Too thick. Oh, girl, there ain't no such thing.
They're about to be even thicker. Oh, yeah. Now we're pure thick. It's a very well rounded build indeed. One could even say it's expertly rounded and balanced. Actually, I don't give a fuck about you. Can I? Oh, I don't mean to attack him yet. Uh, 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 uh. I remember where Mimic Tear is. It's up there somewhere. I'm gonna give myself a tummy ache. Eating all this candy. I think Mimic Tear is that way. Something like that. Ronnie's quest was so hard. I don't know how I ever would have figured it out. fucking deadliness. I really want to invade somebody. I want to invade somebody as the thickness. Ah, not blood. Even in my... It is in thy... My thigh soon must I... Ah. Thank you. My first strange. I am so. I must thank you, May. It was but. What is I too? Peak fashion. Godfrey for seven hours. Yikes. Sorry to hear that, my dude. Killed him in about 30 seconds. We are literally speed running the entire Ronnie quest line in such a little amount of time.
Okay. So, you end up here. Look at this item. It's a miniature runny doll. Runny doll. I think this is the one that takes me to places. No. This is one of my messages. Jumping required ahead. Huh? <laughs> Some people jumped. Watch how you do the quest. So now you gotta sit. And then we're gonna talk, and we're gonna talk, and we're gonna talk, and she's gonna be like, fine, we'll talk. Eliminate the name of I will not brook. Eliminate the name of I will not. Thick, 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 thick. You gotta be faster than that, Void Man. Too slow. Slip and slide! Woo! Flies versus ants. to head other no do I head that way no that's not the way I want to go I don't think it is oh shit I gotta be faster than that Any differences? Yeah, I'm thick now. Way, way thicker than I used to be. My thickness level has increased exponentially. Thick. Stella. I don't even remember what's here, but there's stuff. I think this is where you get most of your respec items. How many do I have? I have enough for... Oh, that's plenty. You don't need a good weapon when you got thickness.
They about to blow up. There you go. Bum 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 bum. What's this? Combo kill. I think it's this way, but I don't really remember. I'm just kind of running places. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum bum. My weight holds it down. foot hurts. I banged my foot earlier. The light switch in the bedroom was fucking up and I kept pressing it and pressing it and pressing it. And then the bait fell out of my hand and I was like, no! And I put my foot under it and like kind of caught it on my foot. Pretty sure it bruised my foot. But what else can you do in a situation like that? I sure hope I don't get invaded down here. This area doesn't look very nice. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, shadow can be bled. Shadow loses, I win. Stand still, sir. No, don't heal. You can't heal. Don't even try it. Yeah, it's definitely a big challenge. Thick, 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 thick. And the funniest thing is you'll see this and your first thought is like, oh man, this fucking thick dude. He's probably gonna fucking hit me with something. No, nope, I'm just gonna cast a bunch of fucking flies. Beautifully fought. Harder than I thought it would be. Well. Thick, thick, thick. Actually, I don't need to finish Ronnie's quest line. Is there anything up there I need? I mean, we could finish Ronnie's quest line, but all I really need is to haul ass over to there. Item crafting. It is not a mage look. This is where you guys get the edgy katana that everyone wants. Rot, 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 rot. Rot, 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 rot. Rot, 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 rot. Rot, 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 rot. Oh, that rot hurts. Oh, that rot hurts. Thickums ain't meant for rot like this. But we're so close. We're in the final stretch. Come on, Thickums. I believe in you. Ugh. 
Rock, 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 rock. Are there any weapons that apply Scarlet Rot? There might be. There might be a lot of them. There might be a whole slew of them. But only if you can find them. Do you want a hint where one is? Probably about to die. Mm. Unique scorpion stinger rot dagger. You gotta be a big boy to look at this build. Bloodborne monster, but it has anal beads. Cool. Do you like bleed? How do you feel about bleed? Ah, whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down with that. Listen, Mr. Snippy Snaps. We don't do that. Not here, okay? You came to the wrong fucking neighborhood, guy. All these star powers and shit. He teleporting away. Cause he's a bitch. But when they teleport away, Cowboy will play. With liquid hot magma! Controls the stars. What else do we need? We need Volcano Man, who is a bitch. We don't need Volcano Man. We should kill Volcano Man. We don't have to kill Volcano Man, though. Um... Volcano Man has one spell 
Ugh, fuck. Let me go do this. Did you know five of your walkthrough videos are unavailable? I did! Because they're scheduled for a later time. And if you come back tomorrow, you'll be able to see part three of the walkthrough. This ain't Netflix. I ain't dropping it all at once, okay? I am the thickness. I have the sickness. I will smash and dash because I'm thick and quick. So thick, thick as fuck. So thick, thick as fuck. We're thick. Uh, 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 uh. Is there any way to make the flies and blood boon stronger? Bro, do you not see the fucking damage I'm doing? And you want stronger? Are we watching the same fucking stream here? My character is basically a god. And you want to be stronger than this? Unbelievable. Not today, pussy boy. Waifu. We're getting married. Goodbye, waifu. Motherfucking dark moon! Let you do the dark room. Is it worth beating all the bosses in one playthrough? Sure, why not? Mountain of Giants, probably like 100 or above. And that's what I want. a better way to get to the top. Well, it's because we got to kill him first. Hang on. I don't think I got that in my last playthrough.
There are no tail weapons. Flies, 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 flies. It's guts. Look at him go. Too bad he can't beat the magma worm. Ow. Or he will. Oh my god, he's biting me. I've never seen that before. Ah. Dragon, wait your turn. The flies are out. It's all over now. That was a good place to farm souls around level 100. I would try just playing the game. Just go to the places you haven't been to. And uh, you'll probably get a lot of souls there. Might need to reset again. No, stop marking things like that. Damn it. Still nothing. Forbidden West better. Elden Ring has so many bugs and performance issues on PC. Yeah, that's true, but... Guess which of those two games you can even play on PC? Fucking got him. I don't have you or you or you or you. Try actually resting. Fast travel does the same thing as resting. Ugh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta kill. Well, let me get some stuff over here. Don't do healthy. Yeah, lady, give me your. Uh, I have this. Give me your stars, your whippy whippy. Actually, fuck. I don't think I have that thing. I think I gobble. Well, it's an ash of war. I ain't gonna fucking use it anyway. Let me check. Let me make sure. Uh, I don't have either. Let's see if one of these mausoleums wants to spit it out. My favorite boss is Dragon Lord. He's a super secret boss. Only I know how to kill him. 
because I practiced the realm of the dragon. There we go. Still gotta kill the ancestral thing here, my bobber. Waves of darkness. I just got invaded by the Moonbill Katana. Sucks to suck, my dude. Oh my god, why would you put one and not have all right, let's go up here. I gotta fight super annoying fucking thing. Let me check my remembrance list here. I'm getting all the boss stuff to make builds with. Grafted done. Queen done. Scar search done. Gotta get wing regal ancestor. Got remembrance. I think I have horror loser. So here, let me check. A double roar. I don't see a horror lose Earthshaker. I thought I had it on something. I'm oh, missing stuff. Blood tax. Neato. It could be I put it on something and I forgot about it. What would I have fucking put it on though? Probably like a big fucking thing. Fuck did I get it? Did I gobble his up too? So then I gotta get or lose, I gotta get two of them. I got black blades. I need blasphemous, horror lose, ancestor. And then there's the final boss sword. But I don't know if I really care about that. Sacred Relic Sword. I think I got it and tried it out and thought it was not that good. Let me see. I want to say it sucked. I'm gonna watch a video of somebody using it and see if they can actually show off the moveset. What does it do? Fucking use it. Why are you just. What is this video? Why is the dude just standing there? Actually looks pretty fucking long and broken. Oh. Hmm. I have to kill the final boss though. I don't even know if I can bleed the final boss. Right, we're, we're gonna try. I gotta kill this guy. Arcane River of Blood isn't even a thing. Rivers of Blood sucks. Stop using it.
that's three that I've lit. Christopher, big old don't know what a robot. Ah, fucking laggy invisible bullshit. a couple more is disappearing because the game is lagging. I think there's two more, but I don't remember what this place... No, there are. There we go. But there's only six. Shit, so there's one more. Fucking invisible bullshit. Oh my god. Lag. Die. Go away. Who's this fucking thing? So we got, here's the true difficulty, right? <laughs> Visible enemies. Alright, um... Well, I know there's one more to get this fucking thing open, I just don't know where. Yeah, there's one more. We got that one, didn't we? Got you. There's a whole video on the channel for the Crucible Knight armor, my dude. Okay. The invisibility is just lag. It's just the game lagging out because I'm running around too fast and it can't render and everything. There it is. I thought there was one back here. This boss is a wee bit of a pain in the ass. Mm. There's always one, Alyssa. There's always one.
As a samurai, are there better weapons to use? You can use literally any weapon you want. This fight sucks. This thing constantly dies and respawns somewhere else. And when it does, it vacuums up health from all the animals in the area. That's really cool music. Can we bleed it? Yes, we can. Oh, walk right into the magma. Down it goes. Mm, do I want to get the Rancor spell? Mm. I'm trying to think how long it would take for me to haul ass and reach. Volcano man. Don't want it. Mm. It's gonna take a minute. Is it a sin to kill the singing bat ladies? Why would it be a sin? They literally attack you and, and try to kill you. See if I can find a... Uh an airlift to blast me up this way. I am Bubble Boy! And this is my magical bubble! Bubble Boy Floating around, it's Bubble Boy He is so round Look at him go As go to and fro It's the Bubble Boy You can't stop the Bubble Boy It's the Bubble Boy you can't stop him, you can't stop him. Looking for an invasion. Thick ass bubble, going really fast. Look at my horse. It makes me haul ass. Look at it. Look at my horse. Look, look at it. 
Look at that horse. Yeah, I used the invisible horse glitch, and that's how I got 4 million souls. What you gotta do... Is you gotta be thick. You get so thick that the horse can't support your weight. But your character has his own gravitational pull around him, and so he just floats. And that's why it looks like I'm riding a horse. Even though I'm not riding a horse. Thickness is what I'm wearing. Oh, oh, look at that thick, thick. Oh, oh, look at that thick. Thick boy. Thick boy, what a joy. When he comes up to you, you're gonna be destroyed. Come on, cowboy. You have to be tired of this game already. Actually, the only thing I'm tired of is the repetitive fucking questions. I lost my magical bubble. It popped. Bubble! Thick ass bubbly boy running around. What a joy. We're gonna go fast. Faster and faster. Look at us run. Here comes a disaster. Gonna smash all the enemies. Gonna run wherever I please. Pumpkin head, get out of my way. Thick boy is here to stay. Dun 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 Thick boy is coming through. It's thick boy. He's coming for you. You can't stop the thickness no matter how hard you try. Thickness is coming. And now I wonder why. It's a thick boy. He's coming through. Bum bum. It's thick boy. Hire dragon to answer all the questions. No, I will not sacrifice his mental health. Mm. Look at our magical bubble. Please, I haven't eaten. I like them thick. I like them juicy. I like them big. Like a smoothie. He's a thick boy. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's a thick boy. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. Lord, it's a thick boy. Uh, 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 uh. He's thick and juicy. Look at him go. Thickness to and fro. When he decides to run. You better get it done. It's a thick boy. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. Thick boy. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. Here he comes. He thick. He still move really quick. Thick boy. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba. Thick boy. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba. That's not where I want to go. That's a cave. Volcano cave. Stop it. the thing at I gotta cross that 
We gotta kill the the thingy. We gotta kill the snake thingy. And then after the snake thingy, we gotta. We're almost there. We gotta kill like snake thingy. We gotta kill Malakath. We gotta kill Horlu. And then we'd have to kill final boss. Open your doors. Open them doors. We rarely risk fascinating. So, about the bird, if you have, rise with us. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong. The drawing room night. I am Tanis. Thank you. Lost Grace in the Volcano Place. Snake Boy. We are moving. We'll be at the boss in no time. Then we just gotta go kill. We gotta kill this guy, kill Malakath, kill Horalu, and then uh, Elden Remembrance 2. I don't really wanna do Elden. I wonder if I could find somebody that has the Elden Remembrance sword. I can just drop it, because I really don't feel like fighting his ass again. He's a big fucking headache that I don't want to deal with. I 
I have to fight this thing? Go. I think you just come down here. I think this is standalone. I don't think you actually need to kill anything down here. Fucker, how do I get to the boss? He's like over there. Um, am I gonna have to kill you? Stop it. Is it this way? Oh, fuck, I made it so far, now I can't remember the final steps. Oh, it's this elevator. Yes? Yes. What's up, Edgy Edgerton? killed you and your friend. You should sit the fuck down. Okay, fine. We'll just do a bunch of damage. Thick boy battle, are we? I am thicker! Oh my god. Did I just really fucking die to this thing? His thickness overwhelmed my own. Pretty sure I grabbed a bunch of different fucking graces that I could just use. Did I not grab a grace at all? That seems really unlikely. I'll be damned. Uh, out of my way. Come on, move. There's a grace in like a side room around here. Collecting all of the boss weapons so that we have lots of cool stuff in this place. Do -do. Oh, 
Okay, you big dummy. First up. Give me back my five million souls. Mimic combo our thickness together. Feel the power of the Lord of Flies. The Lord of Flies knows no weakness. Pretenders of the false thickness shall fall before me. One mana bar is enough for you. Five million dollars. way to go from here. I thought it was we just go and we continue on to the boss. There must be another route. Oh, fuck. I'm so close to being done. Was it this way? Yeah, there we go. That's what we gotta do. When did I get so thick? I've always been that way, baby. Just now noticing my greatness. Fuck, this run is so long. I feel like I just went in a big fucking circle. I did. What the fuck? Which way was it? I gotta like get over there. Do I just jump down? I probably just jump down, you know. throwing Elden Ring. Alright, that's actually pretty funny. I like that. Right, it's still not where I need to fucking go, though. Maybe I go back out? Oh, that's where I first came from. We have to lower the... Do we have to do something with that bridge, though? Bridge turns, and then the, you can cross. That's just the town again. I need to get, like, up into there. 
Fuck! Man, I've been making such good time, and then we made it to Volcano Manor, and I just can't fucking remember. I need to remember where the fuck I go here. Something with the elevator. say there's like a it's a door because I remember like struggling to figure out I remember doing this shit in the let's play as well I remember basically being lost up here and being like where the fuck do I go it's like there's a hallway that opens up at one point and you gotta take it outside and then you keep navigating up but I'm not fucking seeing it, man. I'm only seeing this outside path, and that does not go anywhere. Fuck! What was it? What was it? Hey, I'm about to go watch my own episodes. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, where did we do this place? We did it really late. We did it really late. Now end of prison town. Oh, not that late. Ano Manor. Nope, not there. Regal. Club, Death Rite Bird, Gladino, Armface Atlas, Sainted Heroes, Riker, Lord of Blasphemy, God Devouring Serp. Here we go, prison town. What is happening, y'all? Welcome. Alright, fart my way past. You need a weapon art that is going. Then I explored the whole prison town, and then I did the bridge. And then I ran across the bridge. Alright, is it just the bridge? Did we just cross the bridge? Doesn't that just bring us back? Yeah, I think it's so. Let me see. Yeah, we're trying to get to Big Snake, dude. So you go, you kill the Godskin Noble. Beat his ass. And then... You take the elevator up. Oh, there's some dude... I was using stuff at the round table. That same elevator would not work for me. I didn't see any of this shit. What the hell? I think it is just that lava area where I just was. I just don't go up. God damn it. Oh, fuck me! What is it? It's right there.
Hot feet, hot feet, hot feet. I was so, so preoccupied with the funny message, I didn't even think, like, yeah, just go forward, idiot. This bridge? Alright, we're almost to the boss. We just gotta cross this and then we're there. Okay, Mr. Magma Whips, calm your tits. No way, this is a shortcut for the manor. This brings me back. This is the locked door in the manor. Right? No. Not. Oh, no, this is... Snake Priestess. Big snake head. That's what it was. This teleports you into his little hole. And then you can murder him. I don't know if I need to have the Man Serpent Slayer Spear. Or what, but we'll get it out. I've never tried killing him without it, so I'm kind of curious, but also I'd rather just have him fucking dead and I can move on to the next thing. Where is that spear? Where is that spear? Where are my spears? Right there. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Boss time! Too much bullshit right now. It's time to give us the easy way. Gimmick boss. Gotta kill the gimmick boss. Gimmick boss with a sword! Fight without the serpent killing spear? 
Fuck that. Giant ass boss, and you gotta fight him inside lava? Yeah. That's gonna be a pass from me. Alright, now I gotta go tell him, like, hey, he did. I couldn't find your build video where it shows how to get the Thedorix's Magma spell. You mean like the arcane build that uses it and that talks about it? You, it's true. No, defeat is not the end. Until then. I, I suggest I will miss the champion. I always... The weapon should just be on the way to the boss, but it might be that you have to have done certain shit for it to show up. I remember it just being here, but I also did part of the Volcano Manor questline. She's snacking. Getting a snack. Look at her just munching away. My Lord. Stop eating. My God. Invaded by Tannis Knight. I don't think Crucible Knights can bleed, so this might be a little hard. But they can sure as shit melt! Magma! Ow. Damn, dude. Ugh, I fucking hate Crucible Knights. Like, they're not even... They're not like a terrible enemy, but fuck. They have so much poise. They have so much freaking poise. And they... It just doesn't matter. They poise through everything. Every fucking thing. They don't care. They're like, oh, you're gonna do a spell? I'm gonna poise through it. Massive Dragon Breath of Rot? Doesn't care. Takes 700 damage. That actually worked pretty well. It knocked him back. This guy is scarier for me than any boss I have fought. Stay the fuck away. Give me my missing fucking incantation, you dick.
They're just like it would be if if they didn't have as much poise, it wouldn't be bad. But the the amount of poise they have, they just fucking they kill you. They don't care. They're like rah die. Like, literally, the only weakness they have is parries. You can parry them, and even then, when you try to parry them, they don't, uh... They, like, they don't really take that much damage from a good parry. They, they are just gods of poise. It's crazy, man. They have more poise than Black Knights. They have more poise than Silver Knights. Like, I don't think I have ever seen a character that has as much poise as fucking Crucible Knights. They are just... They're brutal. to fight you, right? I can just go to the boss. That's cute. Chad, just so you know, we're getting into, like, super spoilery territory, like, final boss type shit, so... You know, if you don't care about that, then that's great, but... Just wanna put it out there, cause... I know this whole stream has been spoilers, but y'all, we're gonna see, like, the end of the game. Final boss type material. That is not... I don't understand how that item's supposed to work. Because I could have killed him right there, and I didn't, and I am confused. So, this thing... Deflects the power of the Black Blade. But... He just tried to smack me with it, and I went to deflect it, and I sure as shit didn't deflect it. Like, has anyone used this with success? What, what exactly... How exactly do I deflect the black blade with it? When he uses his three projectile attacks, the attack after you can use the claw. So it sounds like it's a very, one very specific attack that he does that we can count. Oh god, no. Bro, what? Fuck me. Holy shit. I don't know if I need, let me, let me ask. That's the other guy I was hunting items with.
Dragon Riders yourself. <laughs> Ever find out where you got that thing? Yeah, it's in a it's in a church up in uh It's in a church in uh, Atlas Plateau. Or a uh, seed or something. It's in the Atlas Plateau. Don't. Damn, bro. Was he rotted there? I don't think he was. I need to just fucking stick with bleed. Like I love rot, but like bleed is bleed is what's killing him. I need to just let my dude fucking bleed and that's it. Pop the bleed and kill him. Cuz both times now we've died just from like being in in a very poor position. He just smacks us. Why do you want to fight in gravity land over here? Ow. Yeah, it's time to just do this. Oh, nope, nope, back away, back away. Fight the mimic instead. So that's the thing you can parry. Fucking parried, you dumb bitch. That was cool. Just boosh. To kill what? To kill death itself, you big pussy. Right, Sandy, Sandy Land. All right, now we go fight Horalu.
Yeah, we're, we're heading... Once again, we're heading into final boss territory. I would suggest you don't spoil yourself. I'm not your supervisor, but... We're about to be, uh... Fighting a dude, and then a dude, and then a, a crazy dude, and then we've, we've beat the game. And I am killing these dudes because I need these dudes to die for certain items, so... Turn away now, ye unspoiled. I don't even know if bleed's gonna work on the last guy, to be honest. Become Elden Lord, you dumb bitch. He's rolling like this is some PvP. Look at him go. Okay, Mr. Upsetty Spaghetti. I'm gonna go kill the god now. He couldn't stand the thickness. Uh, uh, thicky thickness. Uh, uh, thickety thick. Wickety wick. We are the thickness. With my jiggles. And my wiggles. I am the thickness and I'm coming for the quickness. Uh, uh, bum, 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 bum. Sir, Gideon Offnir, the all rolling. That's funny. I like that. Y'all are about to see my second favorite boss fight of the game. My first favorite is Dragon Lord. And he will always be probably my favorite because discovering him was really fucking cool. But the next dude we're about to fight also... Really fucking cool. How to beat Fire Giant? You gotta attack his ankles and break off the thing. And then after you break the thing off his ankles, you gotta break the thing off of his wrists. Or just spam bleed until he dies. How many times have you finished it? Uh, this is- we're about to get our fucking platinum right here. I just got- I just need the endings and we have plat. Godfrey, first Elden Lord. I want your axe for my strength build, sir. Godfrey, the first Elden fucking Lord. Now, oh, please don't. Please don't. Shit, I'm dead. Oh! Nope, nope, please don't. Please don't. I am, I am sorry. You can be the Elden Lord. I'm just some dude that spams flies. Just kidding, bitch. Here they come. The flies never stop. God. God damn. 
Oh my god. Oh fuck. I'm gonna need some more healing. It's not hair, it's a lion. It's a giant lion spirit. See? It's a spirit. It's his guardian spirit. That will be all. Thou didst me good service. Sirosh. This cutscene is fucking dope. The Barbarian King. Now I fight as horror loom. Warrior! No, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away! <laughs> you don't want to let this guy touch you, dude. He's got some fucking wrestling shit. Oh! We need the flies! You're gonna be just booted, my fucking mimic. We need to get rot up now. If we're gonna have a chance. Rot, rot, rot. Please rot. Oh god. Mimic sacrificed his life so that we could beat Horalu. Hey there, baby. Hey there, baby. Going behind the green screen. Let me explain this to y'all, because I can tell there's some people confused. So, the first Elden Lord was a man. It was Horlu. Horlu was basically like the Barbarian King. Dude, it was the one who beat the giants. All that jazz. Um, obviously, some fucking Rager King. Rager Warrior dude can't be like King King, so he, he went by... Godfrey. He was very regal sounding and shit. He had his big old regal lion spirit that served him. But at his core, he was always just Horalu the warrior. I swear I have this, but whatever.
want to see something real fast. Trying to test stuff out. I don't have time for you and your dumb bullshit. This is a good time to test this thing. Actually, maybe I should leave him alive. Just as an example of what a build can do against a human opponent. Yeah. I'm gonna let him kill me. Because he's right here in the chapel, I can always jump down. You're doing a save mule? It's like a build mule. As opposed to like transferring things over. Because of how long this game is, I don't want to... Um, I'm not trying to, you know... I'm not trying to play through it like five different times for builds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this character that's at 150. Um, he has a little bit of faith, which is always useful. And I'm going to make all the builds like this. Ah, uh, it's not as cool of a move set as I thought it would be, to be honest. I'll be done in a little bit. I have like two things to kill. Let's not have him sit around all the stuff. Yeah! All right, we got to kill these bosses, and I got to go hang out with the baby. I'm going to need more healing, probably. Final spoiler warning before final boss stuff. I think we're getting bleed rocks. They 
we're not. You don't bleed either. Fuck. There goes like half my build. This guy might not be me going down. I know you can frostbite them. Um, we need to drop drop What do we want to use here what's gonna even work um, I'm gonna try out our breaths we'll try out fire we'll try out magic I wish there was like a lightning dragon breath it's kind of weird that there isn't Flame of Frenzy, so Flame of Frenzy can kind of work, but the final boss is a bit fucky. I mean, he didn't take that long for my other build. And that was almost all Flame of Frenzy. Heal's Flame seems to work pretty well compared to Windstone Breath. I don't know which is working the best. This is what we fight next. Like 1500 there. The rings of bullshitticus. Yeah, 
I don't know if this build's gonna be able to beat him, to be honest. Because this is a build that's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I put on Frenzy? These are not optional bosses. This is the final boss. And I do not think phase two is easier than phase one. Phase one is a fucking joke. It's easy breezy. And now I gotta figure out where the fuck my rooms went. Ugh. He didn't shatter the ring. America shattered the ring, and yes, it's explained. I'm wasting those fucking heals, bro. Fuck, I just wasted another one. This this one's over. I wasted too much healing. Ninety-four with that. Four ninety-seven. So lightning or uh, fire it doesn't really matter. They're about the the same. This is gonna be tricky, dude. I'm gonna wait for phase two to pop my my uh fuck you flask. That way I don't drop the runes again. I don't even really want to kill this guy. But he has a sword and I feel like I need that sword to test for stuff. Did you get the ending that involves a dragon? I haven't heard about a dragon ending. Oh, fuck. Four ninety seven. I'm back. First hit is not as good. 494. So those are going to do a 1 2.
I think I might be best just using my uh, glintstone breath and just nuking him with that. As far as I know, so you have you have your Lord ending, you have your frenzy ending. Then you have your Ronnie ending. Those are your three trophy endings. Besides those three, though, there's different things you can do to alternate the Lord ending. So it's like Lord of the Fractured, Lord of the Edge, Lord of the something. So it's like a bunch of minor ending variations based on quest lines that you've done. You get 14 flasks total. My oh, souls go. This is gonna be fucking rough, because like, this whole build is about bleed, and I can't bleed this guy. <laughs> it's like if you have a strength build, and suddenly you get to a fight, and it's like, you're not allowed to use big swords. I mean, I can pop, I have my dragon stuff, but that's, that's it. And that burns through fucking FP. I mean, if I just respect back to pure faith, I could probably... Actually, I could probably... Oh, fuck. I put out the wrong thing. Well... Can I put them away and then... Doing it the old-fashioned way. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that ain't gonna fucking work. Why not use the souls to level up? It can't be for meta, because the meta will probably be lower. I don't think the meta has been as high as 150 before. We've never had a game that goes as long as this before, so... What you're forgetting is, sure, the meta is usually around 100 or 120 but a big reason for that is when you beat the game in the past games at least you're done all the content and you've cleaned house by the time you're like what level 90 so then it's just you leveling up a little bit with souls to hit a meta level in this game you're gonna be past 100 easy you're doing like the bosses and I don't mean like 
Well, if you do every single dungeon boss in the game, you're gonna be 150. I mean, if you're just playing the fucking game, like, just doing the main bosses, just doing shit like, like, fucking Millennia, doing Dragon Lord, just doing the regular bosses that you can find, you will easily blow past 100. And so because of that, there is a much higher chance that the meta will end up being higher this time. Because you can say, oh, well, the meta's not going to be high all you want. But think about this. If I told you, hey, the PvP meta is level 100, and at level 100, you're struggling just to beat the final boss to get the final boss's fucking sword because you want it for your PvP build, you're going to be like, what the fuck? PvP meta is good and fine, but if that PvP meta is, if it makes the, the content for the game prohibitively hard to do, it's not a meta that people are going to care for at all. It's not a meta that people are going to want to abide by. Oh fuck, I might be really fucked here. Barely got out of that. Where'd he go? Electrolyte doesn't know what they're talking about. You're, you're gonna be way past fucking 120 for the final boss. Unless if you if you decide to like fucking speed to the final boss, and you don't try to go for the Halley tree at all, like if you decide to skip all the hidden areas, yeah, then you'll be 120 at the hidden boss, at the final boss. But like who's gonna do that? People want to, you know. If you tell people, oh yeah, there's bosses you haven't done, they're not gonna be like, oh well, well, I'm level 100, so I'm not gonna worry about them. Fuck that, people wanna kill bosses. Because what about the boss weapons? What about all the good shit you can get from those bosses? I can tell you right now, the meta's not gonna be below 120. It just, it won't. And even then, I have a feeling it's going to end up being higher.
I need to get my runes. There they are. Way the fuck out there. I mean, all I need from this guy is, is his weapon. I might just get a friend to drop it for me. Oh, pain in my ass. Oh. How many attempts? Quite a few. I don't. I don't think we're gonna kill this thing with this build. We have to respect. We haven't lost the runes yet. Calm down, y'all. Not bye bye five million. We haven't lost anything. Y'all are forgetting that we have our physic effect up. We haven't lost anything. are we getting? Smack him. Until I die with the flask effect not active, my souls will persist. Because the thing is, souls aren't... So when you die, there is a trigger. That trigger is not just death. That trigger is, you know, oh, this is, this is the... You know, I mean, yeah, the trigger's death, but death doesn't automatically mean loss of souls. As long as you have a sacrifice effect active, you can't lose the souls. So, I'm gonna put on this. I should eat my flask effect up first. Runes, not souls, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. The point being that because I had my flask effective, even when I died without reaching them, I was still able to get back to my souls because the physic prevented the trigger of the souls being lost. It also prevented the sacrificial twig from even getting used. So. Um... Didn't someone just say they had the sword? Someone wants to drop it. That's the last thing I needed for this build. And then I have my, uh, I have my thing done. Someone said they have the sword. Who was it? Who was it that said they had the sword? I swear someone said they had the sword. Hmm. <sighs> I'm in New Game Plus. I'm in New Game Plus. Yeah, meet me over, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go here, let's go to Gill Lake North. We'll go to a Gill Lake North. Uh, 
And then just make the password PvP. back on all my shit. The peaches are gone. Where's the PC? So the reason we did all this, the fucking eight and a half hour long stream, is now I have enough mats here that I could fully upgrade four weapons. We could fully upgrade four unique weapons. On top of that, we got 6.7 million souls to play around with if I need to buy anything. I'm here. Lake, Agil Lake North, the one that's right by right gate front, right at the start. And so what'll happen is I'll back up this save which it doesn't matter that I have, you know, yeah, I got seven tiers, but they don't even matter. What's going to happen is this save is going to get backed up. And then when I want to make a strength build, I can make this guy into a strength build. I'll be able to level up, you know, eight different weapons to try out for regular as well as for whatever. Find a weapon that I like, put the build together after the build's done and I've uploaded it. Then I just reload this save, and I respec again, and I go dex this time. So it's like a save state where it's going to be a mule. So every time I want to try out a new build, I'll have a character that's already 150. It'll have all the different fucking weapons to try. It'll have all the souls. It'll have all the upgrades. And on top of that, and probably the most important, is that will be a new game plus with a shit ton of dungeons and bosses still unkilled. So there will be tons of different things for us to showcase the builds against. Sign down. Oh, I put, did you put the password on? I had my sign down. All I see is praise the lover, who the fuck that is. Did you do multiplayer password? Mm, Cross region should be on. Yep. Are you doing a red sign or an orange sign? She should be doing a red sign. I'll try putting mine down. You see if you can see mine instead. T bag in that sign. Tea bag in, tea bag in it, tea bag in, tea bag in, tea bag in it, tea bag in. Charles, what level are you? Are you a high level? 
Because I haven't fought anybody that's a high level. Got me looks like a very edgy assassin boy. Sacred relic sword. And now we fight. You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm quick on my toes. I'm quick on the toes. Flies. Here come the flies. Here come the flies. Here come the flies. Oh no. Oh no! He dodged my flies. Lies. He dodged them. Fly Lord failed. Let's go again. Here we go. I want rematch. I'm I'm ready now. I'm gonna do more than just flies this time. I'm gonna get you with other stuff. I got lots of stuff. I got, I got this thing. I can bleed too. Where are my souls at? Like right here. There we go. This time the flies will win. He was using the daggers. He's using two of them. They deal bleed very fast. Very fast bleed. This is my jelly. I can't wear jelly with my thick ass armor. And I'll put it. It's weird how like the signs like appearing and then not appearing. He was doing this thing. It builds up a lot of bleed damage and can proc bleed. Got my flask. See, I can do it too. Yes, the power of the dragon! Unmatched! Now we gotta, we gotta wrap it, we gotta do a... You know, it can't be one and one. Overkill? <laughs> Just, just a little bit. Just, just a bit. Just, just a tiny bit. He's a thick ass boy, and he coming for the joy. That's not even the most deadly of the dragons. I think the rot dragon is deadlier in PvP. Placidix is fun, but he's more like an anti-invasion thing. Oh, he's got some pokies. Dragon rock rep. Rock breath, rock breath. The flies! The flies! You can't possibly escape the flies. The flies will get you. They get everybody.
The Lord of Flies. It was crazy how much damage Rot Breath still fucking did, though. Uh, that was a good, that was a, a good best of three. Yeah, naked. And now we move our character right to the blacksmith. And now we have a 150 that has access to, uh, oh, oh hang on. Hang on. I think I bought them. I don't know if I bought them all. We gotta have all the boss armors. Uh, bump, 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 bump. I know I have Radons and Veterans. Let me see which ones I have. Radon, Crucible, Veteran. I'm just gonna buy everything. It doesn't matter. Gotta have all the motherfucking fashion. boy look at my dude thick as fuck now ready. Let me put some clothes on him. Still the best fashion in game. God, I love this look. You ever gonna play Sifu? I don't know, man. Maybe. create a save and this is where we whack up so now we have a mule to make all the builds with we're gonna probably do a just based on the poll I'm, I'm gonna do strength and then I'll do in and then I'll you know continue on from there so we're wrapping this up we'll be back to walk through prep tomorrow so I will see you all then y'all have a good night